underscore sweets just subscribed. Toad jam, toad jam, toad jam. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I worked for all my life, and I had to start again with just my children and my wife. I thank my lucky stars to be living here today, cause the flag still stands for freedom, and they can't take that away. And I'm proud to... Oh, fuck! God damn it! Oh, shit. If tomorrow all the things were gone I'd work for all my life And I had to start again With just my children and my wife I thank my lucky stars To be living here today Cause the flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the man who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up next to you And defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee, across the plains of Texas, from sea to shining sea, from Detroit down to Houston, and New York to LA. And there's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say. That I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up next to you And defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up Next to you and defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the Really great stuff. Online advice show. Mark underscore Gary. Just subscribe. USA, 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 F and V, USA, USA, USA. Clap on. Imaginary escapist turned the lights on with X300. I actually enjoyed that remix a lot more. I'd like you to perform it that exact way henceforth. Online advice We're not gonna show. do speed I am the up tone version. Just subscribed. We are excited to share that, as of last December, Dong Hua Jinlong has successfully completed a comprehensive inspection by the <laughs> FDA. FDA I Dong Hua Jinlong has passed extensive international mm -hmm. regulatory standards. I saw the video earlier. I saw the video the earlier. Ping, Dong Hua Jinlong has passed X300 US -E FDA inspection. Dong Hua Jinlong is. Certified by the US FDA to produce glycine. Okay. Really great stuff. Thanks a lot to Pink Boots for the $300 America. And thanks a lot, I am the Tone Bone, for the Tier 1 Friendship Package for 15 months. Okay. And thanks a lot, Imaginary Scrapist, for the $300 Barrel underscore Shroud just subscribed. Tips on look maxing and or mugging? Trying to lock in. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, 15-year-olds say that shit now, so you shouldn't be saying it. Okay, guys? Um, that was It was kind of funny before, you know? Online before 15-year-olds started saying 23 it. And now that children say it, you shouldn't say really it. Two years of really great online advice. Prime A1 top tier high quality professionalism. Okay. Down with gay doom. <clears throat> Burger for president 2024. Yeah, I mean, don't be ridiculous. Burger would never be allowed to be president. $10. Great leader. I request your blessings as I take a break from distractions and embark on a journey to go from poor to the 22% tax bracket, married. Mm-hmm. The advice and cuck songs I miss will be hard, but the tier 3 tier 3 friendship package will be worth it. Yeah. Wait, what? Take a break from distractions and embark to the journey to go what where are you going <laughs> thanks for the one thousand dollar but you know sure this turn the lights if you need to go the somewhere go ahead booger can be president for a little bit as a treat that's not true booger cannot be president for a little bit as a treat because booger has issues booger has issues okay booger's got problems she is a violent racist um she is bigoted and hateful. Um, she's a homophobe. Um, what else is wrong with her? She's ignorant. She doesn't know how to spell, particularly. Um, she'll sneeze over the nuclear football. That's true. That's true. You couldn't take her into the car. She doesn't like car rides. There's no way she could be president. And she's never even been in an airplane before. You know, and she barely knows how to spell her own name. Do you know how she spells bug? Booger? Do you know how she spells that? B-U-G. Bug. That's as far as it goes with her. Bug. She thinks that means booger or something. That's not how it's spelled. That works. It doesn't work that way. It's bug. She doesn't know how to spell her name. B-U-G. She's a fucking idiot. She used to spell it bog. B-O-G. But that didn't. That made even less sense. Bog. <sighs> it's online advice show. We give people free help online. All you gotta do is call the phone number two zero two nine three five zero six eight eight. You can call in and receive free help online. WTF is that in your right hand? Um, currently, I am just touching near my balls uh, with my right hand. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. My right hand is resting down here. It's kind of touching my balls, and it's also kind of not at the same time. Now, if you could maybe divert your attention to somewhere else that isn't my balls, perhaps you could uh, do that. You know, maybe if you could look somewhere that isn't my testicles. I'd I'd prefer it if you weren't sitting here trying to imagine what my balls taste like. I mean, imagine what my balls look like. I don't think you have to imagine what someone's balls taste like. They all, they all probably taste you know the same. I would assume. They, they would all taste the same. I've never tasted a man's balls, so... Salty, salty. So you guys have tasted balls before, or...? Ask Blandon. That's true. Blandon has had another man's cock and balls in his mouth at the same time. Blandon calls it full holing it. Uh, Blandon calls it a hole in one. Actually, he calls it a hole in two. <laughs> it tastes like balls. There you go. It tastes like balls. That's when Blandon takes the shaft, which is the flagpole, and he takes both the golf balls in his mouth at the same time. It's an interesting technique. I don't like it when he um, you know, tells me about it. I don't like it when he describes it in great detail to me. I don't like when he tells me about the taste, about the sensation. I don't enjoy that. But he didn't like it. Right, then why is he always talking about it? Hmm? Why is he always talking about it? Hmm? Interesting. Very interesting. <sighs> It's online advice the show. Online advice show. And that's right. Go Bob Salmon just subscribed. I love when you talk about Hammer's Toad. Fascinating subject. Thanks for everything, sir. Yeah, hammers are pretty cool. I keep a hammer the nearby. Online advice show. I keep a Candy hammer Time around. Out just subscribe. Just in case. Sir Bobbin gifted a tier one sub to Candy Time Out. Really great stuff. Thanks a lot, Sir Bobbin, for gifting a tier one friendship package to Candy Time Out. I like to keep a hammer around. It's a self-defense hammer. You never know who might come charging through the window Online or flying show. down the Failed stairs. Quilson just subscribed. Thoughts on Dwight being considered obese. 
Uh, Dwight is the stupidest person on earth, and honestly, I think my new policy going forward is that I'm no longer interested. Um, I think that's just going to be the case. Is that I'm just I'm no longer interested. I don't really want to hear about it anymore. He's just too dumb to function, and it's not even it's not even like interesting. It's just like sad. <sighs> new Hearthstone season, no fucking quests. Did that come out today. I haven't played that shit in a while. Did that come out today. Repugnant. Repugnant, to say the least. Repugnant. Yes. Well, may as well go ahead and give it a preview, I suppose. O four O four. April sixteenth. This looks like dog ass. There's no information here. Zero comments. <laughs> There's zero comments on their on their forum post about it. Blizzard sucks. Blizzard's an Blizzard's an ass shit company. We don't have a wing stop near us. Wing stop is expensive, so you know, I don't think there's really any. T I don't think there's really any point in going there anyway. Wingstop is way too expensive. Unpopular. What Wingstop? <clears throat> Number I'm not 15, trying to spend. Red tack yes. Squid underscore cheered. Ninety dollars. X three hundred and fifty. Metallica's James Hetfield uses Lemmy Kilmister's ashes in Motorhead tattoo. Okay. Okay, you're going to have to pay me way more than that if you want me to listen to dog shit music. Uh, thanks a lot, Squid, for the $350 Renies. Thanks a lot, Frail Gank Wilson, for the Tier 1 Friendship Package for 44 months. And Bowl of Salmon for the Prime Sub for 8 months. And Imaginary Scrapist for the $300 Renies. And Trip 323 for the Tier 1 Friendship Package for 24 months. Online advice All right. show. Up next and thanks a lot, Treat with subscribe. Cream for the $1,000 cool. Renies. Thanks a lot, Up Next Cool, for the Tier 1 Friendship Package for 33 months. Wow, he says, very cool. That's Up Next Cool. Uh, thanks a lot, Barrel Shroud, for the Tier 1 Friendship Package for 6 months. And the Pink Boots for the $300 Enies. And I'm the Tone Bone for the Tier 1 Friendship Package for 15 months. And Imaginary Scrapist for the $300 Enies. And Mark underscore Goes for the Tier 1 Friendship Package for 33 months. All right. And uh, Brad Star for the four hundred and twenty dollar inies, and B M F Simpson for the one hundred and sixty nine dollar inies, and Vic underscore Sweets for the tier one friendship package for ten months, and C L G eighty eighty for the tier one friendship package for four months. <laughs> really great stuff, fellas. It's online advice show. When's the MythBusters collab? Aren't all the MythBusters dead or something? How many of them are dead? Aren't all of them dead? Not interested. Never really liked the Mythbusters, I gotta be honest. It always seemed like a group of losers doing shit for no reason. You know, it's like, hey, what'll, what'll happen if if somebody Bum blows up inside a fridge? Show. I'm like, Sister I don't... Just subscribe. Who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? Who gives a fuck nerd? You know, it's like, who's giving you money to do this? You know what I mean? Like, who gives a fuck? Like, so, they're like, they're like the ultimate people that, like... They're always, they're like worried about shit that isn't ever going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, what would happen if, if the gas station blew up because you were, your cell phone made it blow up? It's like, dude, it's like, it's never happened. It's never going to happen. Like, why are you worried about this? And why are you spending like tens of thousands of dollars to, to figure it out? Yeah. 
Don't give a fuck. Fuck Mythbusters. Never liked the dude who looked like a walrus. Um, never liked that, that motherfucker's fuck ass face. Never liked that walrus bastard. Um, and, the, and then the three dweebs, you know what I mean? It's like, hey, we're doing something, but it's not as cool. It's like, seriously? Why even put them in the show? Why even put them in the show? The two old gay assholes, Bert and Ernie, would do some shit, and then the three fucking dweebs would do something less cool. For an hour. Great. Great. An hour of my life down the fucking shitter watching goddamn Mythbusters. <laughs> fucking Reddit. Apparently they hated each other. Who gives a fuck, dude? The woman, that woman there just to act stupid. The girl was kind of cute, though. Mm -hmm. Is that all? Is that all you guys want out of life? You just want to coom? Is that it? You're just worried about the cooming? Advice show. You're worried about to, oh yeah, she subscribe. makes my boner hard. Oh yeah, watching her, du dude. Science is so freaking awesome, dude. Science chick. Oh my god, my boner is getting hard. Oh my god, there's a girl that likes science? OMG, my bonner's show. getting Joe hard. Joe Bartolozzi just subscribed. <laughs> Ridiculous. Thanks a lot, Joe Bartolozzi, for the tier two Bomb friendship package for 29 the months. Just All right. Shrimp Bucket gifted a tier one sub to the fisherman. Thanks a lot, Shrimp Bucket, for gifting a tier one friendship package to the fisherman. Really great stuff, Shrimp Bucket. Wow. Very professional. Choice of sodi today. Yeah, bad news. Left all the sodis upstairs. Okay, so at some point I'm going to have to go upstairs and get a sodi. Because I forgot to bring a sodi down here. And now I'm sodi-less. Um, and so now I'm sodi without. I'm, 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 I'm sans sodi. And, and it's going to be an issue. It's going to be an issue. It's going to be a... Why not now? I don't know. Don't want to stand up right now. Ridiculous. Treat with cream donated it's not treat $3 with cream for the three hundred and thirty-three dollars. Imagine, meth busters. They bust meth heads, clandestine laboratories, and flop houses with hammers. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I was a meth buster once, um, but that was different. I smoked meth and I busted into people's homes and I grabbed things quickly and then scurried on out of there. If you're fast enough. You can run into someone's home and grab the TV on the wall and yank it out with all the cables and bolt. You don't need to stick around and wait. They don't have enough time to react. By the time you come through the door, you've already got the TV and you're leaving. You know, they're not even out of bed yet. They're not even out of bed yet. That's an easy one. <coughs> I'm a meth buster. I bust inside meth heads and skip town. Why would you need to skip town for that? Dude. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. I don't think the child's gonna survive. I don't think the child will come to term if you are ejaculating inside of a meth head. Okay? I don't believe that child will come to term. Yeah, right, really great stuff. Shrimp bucket. Shrimp Thanks bucket a lot for the five. For the five. Five to your one friendship packages. Okay, shrimp bucket. All right. Really great stuff. Thanks a lot, shrimp bucket, for the five to your one friendship packages. And treat with cream for the $333 inies. And Joe Bartolozzi for the tier two friendship package for 29 months. And shrimp bucket for the prime sub new. And Sizz TV for the tier three, tier three, tier three friendship package. For 19 months. Really great stuff. Sizz TV. Very professional. Very professional. Sizz TV. Tier 3. Tier 3. Tier 3. Friendship package. All right. That's right. Fuckos. Fuck turds. Um, dork ass. Uh, cum gobblers. Um, life losers. Disappointment stains. It's online advice show. And in order to receive free help online, you have to call the phone number 202-935-0688. You can call in and receive free help online. Cock goblin. No, a cock goblin sounds interesting. Incel. Now, the phrase incel has been bastardized. Now that people age 60 plus use the phrase incel, it's no longer interesting. Um, I need to come up with new words. Maybe... Maybe, maybe, maybe scout or something. 
or I'm a ghoul. A ghoul's been used. A ghoul has been used. Dune Cell. Clippy. Clippy is the guy who helps you build a resume in Microsoft Word. Um, nonce. I don't like it because it's British. Crepe Defiler. That's also fucking French. Crepe Defiler? Really? The Crepe Defiler? Are you telling me that there's something sinister about all that cream they inject in those crepes? Shrew, that's just an animal. Shrews are an animal. Um, Dune is Patrick Star emoji. Semen demon. Um, I also see you spelled semen incorrectly. <laughs> you spelled semen incorrectly. Sea <laughs> man. Sea man. As in, as in, I can see men. Mongoloid, that's an old one that's been used. Surf. Surf is kind of cool. That's it's old enough to come back. Calling someone a surf, nine one one operator. That's just a career. That's not an insult. That's just a career. Okay, let's try and let's try and keep it inter let's kind of keep it interesting here, bunk bot. Because nine one one operator is just a job. It's not really an insult. Crustoid. Crustoid is good. Boof. That's something you put in your ass. Um, maroon. Maroon is the a band. Democrat. We've had that for years. De Democrat is good. It's it's kind of a good one. I think I prefer calling someone a Democrat over a liberal. You know what I mean? Those damn Democrats, you know. Liberal has been used to death. It's been used too much. Clown shoes. Mm. Clod hopper. No. Detarded. Nimrod is good. Nimrod's decent. <gasps> Macrob, me, me, crab. Trollop, trollop's all right. Bonner, Bonner's a decent one. Bonner's a decent word. Numbskull. What is it? The fifties, you know. Look at those cartoon running sounds. Oh, you dang numbskull! Oh, Nimsy, you dang numbskull! I don't have to talk like I'm from the fifties. Floppycock, no. Troglodyte, no. Space filler, no. Prick. Prick's a decent one, kind of. Yeah, it's good. Um, blockhead. 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 I like blockhead. Yeah, I don't mind blockhead. I don't mind blockhead. Imbecile. Peanuts. Meathead. Now, meathead's reserved for muscle dummies. Yeah, Joe's a damn blockhead. Primbus. Okay, you're going Rick and Morty with it. Let's come back to reality. Let's get away from the Rick and Morty field. Primbus sounds like a Rick and Morty word. Zembo. Zembo just sounds like a country. I gotta be honest. <clears throat> Dingo, that's an animal. Shit ass. That's just something people do. Zamboni. That's a machine that they use to clean ice. Um, Zerdy Zog. I don't know why the term Zog was... Apparently the auto mod thinks the term Zog is... Is offensive. It has something. To, apparently, Zog has something to do with ethnicity. I don't. I don't know what race the Zog. I don't know what race the Zogs are, but I'll try and figure that out. Maybe they're Orcish or some shit. <clears throat> Donkey cock. Can it? No, you guys. You guys aren't even coming up with good words now. You guys aren't even coming up with good words. You have to get thematic with it. You have to figure out what the world's going to be like in 20 years. Are we going to be in a cyberpunk dystopia? Then you might tell someone to shock off. You know, you say, hey, shock off before I fucking, you know, shock off before I decrypt your hard drive. That's like something you would say in the cyberpunk world. Shock off, bootstrap, before I decrypt your hard drive. Um, I'm going to jack on. Yeah, I'm, I'm jacking on tonight or, you know... Uh, you know, hey, virus, why don't you shock off? Like, that's something you'd say in the cyberpunk world. You thumb drive. Uh, <laughs> that's what game writers think, lol. <laughs> hey, shock off, virus, before I bootstrap your thumb drive. <laughs> hey, shock off, virus, before I HTML your fucking thumb drive. Why don't you get out of here, virus, before I decrypt your hard drive? <laughs> Uh, 
It's online advice shown. We give people free help online. All you got to do is call the phone number 202-935-0688. Get spaced. They, they would say get tabbed. In the cyberpunk world, they say get tabbed because people use tabs over spaces. Get tabbed, virus, before I shock your bootstrap. Hey, virus, why don't you shock off before I, before I fix your parameters? <laughs> why don't you shock off, bum? <clears throat> Get ad blocked. Why don't you shock off, virus, before I add you to my pie hole? That's what's going to happen in the new world, and it's going to be repugnant. Just kidding. It's really funny because the cyberpunk dystopia will never happen. You know why? Children can't use computers. Okay? The truth is, the youth of today cannot use computers. So we will never make it to the cyberpunk dystopia because the youth can't operate, um, they can't even operate Windows, you know? So we're never going to make it to cyberpunk dystopia, which really sucks. Uh, what about iPads? That's not cyberpunk dystopia. That's like clean film. That's like turning the world into a clean interface. Like everything will just have but like clear buttons and pictures. <clears throat> Bro, I deleted shortcuts and I said and said I free. Bro deleted uh, bro deleted shortcuts and said I freed up so much space. Yeah, delete the desktop icons. <laughs> it's lame, man. It's lame. It's lame. Can't even have cyberpunk shit anymore. Children have ruined it. They wouldn't even get it. You know what I mean? They wouldn't even get it because they like their brains don't think computers can be like these weird, like interfaces that you can have. Like, total control of. They only see the experience on the surface level. I got snot rocketed on by Sam Hyde tonight. I'm straight now. That is repugnant. That is repugnant bodily fluids. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Hey, what's up, man? I'm Not much. I'm giving people free help online. How can I help you today? How to, uh... We hung up. All right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. See ya. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. BLT is God tier sandwich. You're coming in here right now, 22 thou, and you're saying some fucking stupid ass shit. You're going to come in here to Online Advice Show without a fucking subscription and say that the BLT is the best sandwich? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Get this guy back to fucking Reddit! Get this guy back to fucking Reddit! Fuck the Online BLT! Show. Fuck the We're BLT! Fuck the BLT! Subscribe. BLT God is bullshit! America. More like bullshit lettuce and tomatoes. More like bullshit lettuce and tomatoes. The BLT is the sandwich that is missing the sandwich, okay? It's everything except the sandwich. The bacon is an accoutrement, okay? The bacon is an extra. The bacon is a guest. A guest appearance at the show. The BLT is not the entire show, okay? The BLT is not the star of the show. Not even close. The BLT is a sign thought. The BLT is the Broadway play 16 weeks after the original cast has left. Okay, that's the BLT. The BLT is the sandwich without all of the substance. It's the sandwich without all of the sandwich. Um, it may as well not even exist. Okay? What a fucking moron thing to do. What a fucking dumbass sandwich to buy. The BLT. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. Unbelievable. What about a BLT with ham or turkey? That's not a BLT. That's a ham, that's a ham or turkey sandwich with, with bacon. That's what it is. That's a ham or turkey sandwich with bacon. Okay? If you're going to have that much bacon, you may as well just have the bacon. You may as well just have a bacon sandwich. Don't get me wrong, I've had bacon sandwiches before. Yeah, I used to have bacon sandwiches all the time. Loved it. You know, it's a good sandwich. It's fun. You know? 
Take the tomato and the lettuce and tell them to kill themselves. Okay? How about that? Fuck the tomato. Fuck the lettuce. BLTs are for poor people. That's kind of true depending on how much bacon you put in there. Yeah. That's kind of true. Because if you're going to have like a... Listen, if you're going to have a BLT sandwich, you better be putting in quite a bit of bacon. You know? Greatest cookie of all time. Panera Bread has a pretty good cookie. It's called the Kitchen Sink. Um, the, they're like a thousand calories, though. But they're a pretty good cookie. It's a pretty good cookie from Panera Bread. Um, they're they're all right, you know. I'm not cheesed off at it. It's just it's like every cookie all in one. But uh, Subway has good cookies. Subway has good cookies. The white chocolate macadamia nut from Subway, that's a good cookie. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Uh, hello there, Mr. Toad. I have one question and a follow-up question. My first question is, um, what would be the best service to... Um, you know, start investing in the stock market. Bank. The online advice show. The bank. Really? Holly can't yep. buys just subscribed. Okay. Shrimp. Okay. Uh, one per customer. Thanks a lot for calling, sir. Holly can buys. One they per have customer. Given seven gift subs in the channel. Thanks a lot, Shrimp the Bucket, for gifting a tier one friendship Guide package to Holly Cannabis. It's really great stuff. One per customer. Guys. Let's not get six greedy here. Let's not get greedy here. Tier one to Guide Game Boy. They've gifted thirty-one months in the channel. Thanks a lot, Memento underscore X Mori, for gifting a Tier 1 friendship package to Guided Game Boy. Okay. Really great stuff. It's online advice show. We give people free help online. Very professional. I just keep my stacks of cash under my bed like a crack dealer. Crack dealers don't keep stacks of cash. Okay? Crack dealers... Crack dealers don't hang on to their money at all. You know why? They have to use it to buy more crack. You know what I mean? When you're a crack dealer, chances are you're actually selling the crack in order to get yourself free crack. So you go and you get fronted an ounce of crack, okay? And you go out and you sell that crack for, I don't know, you know, $2,000. You go back, you give the dealer his $1,500, okay? Now you've got 500 bucks. Now you get an ounce and a quarter ounce of crack, now you've got a quarter ounce of crack to use, and you've got an ounce to sell. And you can do that basically, you know, forever until you die of crack use. No one ever saves money when they're drug dealing. It's, it's, it's the stupidest thing ever. I've always seen drug dealers, they always get high on their own damn supply. They don't know how to regulate their finances. They don't know how to regulate their inventory. They don't know how to, you know, account for all the things that come with running a business. The online like advice show. Butterfat24 just subscribed. Thanks a lot, Butterfat24, for the Tier 1 friendship package for 11 months. All right. Hi, welcome to the online advice show. How can I help you today, sir? Hey, bud. So I was curious about uh, your previous answer. What advantages would a bank uh give you to investing in the stock market over someone like no one is going to give you an advantage anywhere yeah i know but why did you say a bank other than like swab or somebody that lets you those pick those your are own those ETF. are bank accounts but you get to pick your own thing a bank you can do that you, at like, the bank no, regions like let you do a CD you can go to the bank and you can talk to them about listen every single bank every single large bank okay has some sort of investment department you just go up to them and say, hey, I'd like to open up an investment account. Oh, oh, I was okay. grouping it into, like, my my region's bank. They just do CDs and everything else, so it'd be a big you're, tell, you're telling me so. that you're, you're telling me that your bank has no kind of brokerage whatsoever. I mean, it doesn't make no, any sense really. because the bank, the bank is probably owned by a larger bank that would do it. Have you ever asked them? Listen, it doesn't I mean, matter I anyway. You don't need to do it. Just get on bank. an app. I mean, yeah, I, the first thing I would say is to, to do it. Do you have an online advice question today? 
I mean, I, w I was really just wondering, like, what's the big advantage to, like, uh, like you just say bank in a general term, and that's I was just bank. basically asking for clarification. Bank. Any bank. Robinhood is a bank. Yeah, and, and he was, and, and yeah, it's just a, a really broad answer. What do you mean? It's bank. It's a bank. That's not yeah, broad no, at all. Was, it's very narrow. Everybody has a bank on the street corner. Yeah, I know, but he was just talking about. Listen, if you want to, listen, if you want to be able to get your finances under control, okay, the easiest way to do it is to go to the bank and say, "Hey, I'd like to invest some money," and they go, "Okay, how would you like to invest it, sir?" And you go, "I don't know. Do you guys have your own ETF that?" Uh, that tracks the market, right? And they go, yeah, we do. And you go, okay, yeah, can I buy some of that? And they go, sure. That Yes, yes. Okay, so now you're getting to there. So uh, I was interpreting this question to the dude just being some guy off the street just asking a blunt, like, no nothing question. And, you know, if, if uh, uh, no offense, but if just a, a dude who just walks off the street, walks into a bank, says, how can I make money in the stock market? He can get taken advantage listen, of. Listen, okay, listen, listen. The online advice you show. Listen, Links one okay. if you're subscribed. walking into a bank, what? if you're walking into any bank on earth where you have to be afraid of the fact that you might be taken advantage of, that's not a real bank. Dude, that's every bank. That is not, no, it's not. It's not. It is. It dude. just isn't. It, it just isn't. It just isn't. There's this thing called banking. What? What? What are you? What are you worried about? What? What? Are you, what is your scenario in your mind where you get taken advantage of? How does that look? I mean, the financial world—it's a cutthroat mm -hmm. business, and I never <laughs> anticipate anything other than somebody wants to make a commission how much, off of me. How much money do you? How much money do you make? Uh, hourly or yearly? <laughs> okay, if you if you have to put it hourly, you don't make enough money to be worried about the cutthroat financial world. No, I don't. I'm an engineer. I I, I stay out of finance. <laughs> you're, you said you're an engineer. You stay out of finances. This dude yeah. sounds like so he what do you do with, with your money? Shiners in West Virginia. Uh, I mean, the mortgage is paid off. Uh, whatever the hell I want to at this point, to be honest. <laughs> whatever the hell you want to. How old are you? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. How much do you have saved for retirement? Retirement? Uh, well, I'm about to buy a new house. Oh, so great move. That's down. always smart, yeah. Especially in this market. It's a great market to buy a house. Interest rates have never been lower. Well, I mean, the <laughs> old house is going to basically be paying the mortgage for the new house, so it's... What, it's are you, what, are you do, what are you doing? Are you married? Hell no. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Do you have any kids? No. Why the fuck are you buying a house? Because my firm is moving me to another location. Your firm is moving you to another location, okay? And are they are mm -hmm. they paying you? Are they paying you some kind of stipend to move? As far as like they're paying me moving expenses to go up there. Are they paying you a relocation fee? Yeah. How much is a relocation fee? They told me to expense it. They told you to expense it. Yeah, but it's only one state over, so I don't expect <laughs> it to be more than like four thousand bucks. <laughs> And how, and how much and how much do you get how much do you get paid at the job? Oh, sorry, sorry. I got distracted. Uh right now as an EI, 85,000 a year. 85,000 a year. Yeah. And you're going to let these people tell you to move to another state and you're not going to get them to compensate you for it. Well, they're going to pay me to get my professional engineer license and after that, uh they're going to move me up to 125 a year. And so you already own you already own the house where you live now, correct? And are you selling that house? No, I'm going to rent it out to pay for the mortgage on the new property. Right. Okay. Makes sense. What about the costs uh, of the original house? What if something breaks? What if something breaks? Um, it is what it is. I mean, I have <laughs> a pretty big nest egg saved up. So if something breaks down, how much here, is that? Uh, right now, it's fifty thousand bucks. Yeah, that's not pretty big. Well, it's not, but I mean, if the that's not that's not enough. Out, that's not enough to not be worried about it. You know what can well, happen? No, tenants not. tenants can ruin things. You know, they could ruin the plumbing in your house by mistake because they're like dumb or something. You oh, know, then you've got to replace the plumbing. Uh, you know what I mean? Like the, all the pipes are fucked. Um, it's absolutely. very it's very strange. It's very strange that these people wouldn't pay you a, a pretty significant amount to move to another state. 
Um, in fact, I would I would be asking for as much as the down payment on a new home, probably, if they're asking me to move, if I'm essential to them. I'd be asking for the entire down payment on a new home. Or I'd be asking them to cover my rent for, like, you know, two years or something. I'd ask them to pay for my rent for two years. Um, and so you don't have any money. You don't have any money invested anywhere for your retirement. Well, I mean, it's, uh, honestly, I mean, the only thing that can break in this old house, if the septic system okay. goes out. Let's not, let's not work. Listen, listen. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever, uh, do you ever thought like um, have you ever heard the phrase that like if it can happen it will happen? Yeah, that's Murphy's law. Yeah, right. So assume that everything that can happen will happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So assume that you're that you leave and then your house completely blows up because the tenants like mm -hmm. decide to make a bomb in your home and they mm -hmm. blow it up, right? You'd be fucked. You'd mm -hmm. be ruined. You'd be financially ruined. Well, I mean, I'm I haven't rented it out yet. I'm about right. to have a meeting with my insurance agent. Uh, mm. I'm I'm hoping that when we get insurance, out of that meeting, good luck, good luck. Insurance will never pay you. Insurance exists not to pay you. That's how insurance makes money. They they make money by not paying people. Insurance doesn't make money by always paying out on claims fully. You guys are crazy if you think insurance is going to take care of you. Insurance never well, takes care of you. Insurance well, never takes care of you. They never take care of you. The whole point of an insurance company is so that they don't pay people. That's what they well, do best. That's what they do best. It's the exact best thing that they do. That's how they make all their fucking money is by not paying you. Okay? Well, so listen, something bad will happen because it can happen. Okay? And then you're going to have to pay for all of it in the house. What do you do now that you've got zero dollars... A house that's not being um, rented by somebody, either that or they're not paying because something broke, and then you've got the bills at the new house. What are you going to do? So, actually, this actually happened uh, about a decade ago. Um, we have, as a family, we have always had the same You don't have a family. Company. Dude, I'm a son. So? What does that have to do with your parents? Mean, you said a family. Listen, you listen. You are by yourself, right? Dude, you need to differentiate. You're by you're by yourself. Into... Here, yes, you're alone. But as okay, but we've all had are you the on same... your parent? Are you on your parents' insurance? No. Okay, then stop fucking talking about them. Okay, dude. Um, listen, here's the scenario. The... Here's the scenario. Something bad will happen. Your house is gonna blow up. You're gonna owe a shit ton of money, and then you're gonna go underwater. Dude, I was trying to talk an anecdote about the same. I don't want to hear anecdotes. Was... Don't like them. No, dude, don't I was, like we them. have this, don't my care. parents, no. my parents and no. I have the same no. insurance agent. No. Did you want to hear a is story he the, is he the be, I don't want to hear a story, no. Is he the best insurance agent on earth? Does he always just pay all the time? He just gives everybody money for free? Yes. <laughs> really? So he just goes yes. around and he, he just goes around just handing out checks. Just, just totally, I, yeah, you're right, I, this claim is 100% legit. Interesting. I Does he also work for the Sopranos? Do you want to hear the claim or Does not? Does he also work for Tony Soprano? <laughs> Do you want to hear the claim or not? Sure. Yes. A tornado, like, took the roof off of my parents' house. Mm. Tornado. Acts of God, yeah. They paid for a new roof. Mm -hmm. Do they have tornado yeah. insurance? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> this same insurance agent is the one that's insuring this home now. Mm -hmm. The same mm -hmm. company, the mm -hmm. same agent, has the same coverage on my current home yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. They're going to come to you. You're going to go to them, and you're going to say, hey, dude, the roof blew away from a tornado. And they're going to say, well, why didn't your tenants hold it down? <laughs> okay. <laughs> they're going to say, why didn't, why didn't the tenants get up there and hold the roof down? Dude, I'm just telling you what happened. <laughs> Listen, I, and I'm telling you, and I'm telling you what the what the most likely scenario is, is: that insurance is a nightmare, and they never want to pay people, and they want to dilly dally and take all of their goddamn time. Okay, Ooh. here's my advice for you, sir. Number one is try not to move because it's an incredibly high expense for no reason. Secondly, okay, invest your money for your retirement. You're 37, and you're not going to get any younger. And third, that's it. Thanks a lot for calling, sir. It's online advice show. We give people free help online. Unbelievable. Nationwide is on your side, yeah. More like Nationwide is is squatting in the corner, digging in their asshole, looking for pieces of corn, and they grab a piece of corn and they go, mmm, Number shitty. Red tack, yes. And then you ask them, hey, man, can you, can you assess My this? My bank is Title Max. My bank is Title Max. 
I've never is uh, listen. That sounds like a movie. Uh, sounds like a movie theater title, Max. I don't think you should be banking at the local cinema. Thanks a lot, Lanx One, for the Prime sub for two months, and Butterfat for the Tier One Friendship Package for eleven months, and I'm the Tone Bone for the three hundred dollarinis, and Fractured for the four hundred dollarinis. Really great stuff. Very professional. GameStop as a bank. Yeah, I keep all my money in GameStop NFTs. <laughs> Cineplex Credit Union. <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool if like uh, AMC turned into a credit union, and they're like, "Hey, if you, hey, if you, uh, you know, if you bank fifty thousand dollars with us, we'll give you free movies for a year." Like, that's cool. You know, that's nifty. Free movies for a year. That sounds epic. Sounds like a good time. What could go wrong? N- nothing could go wrong. I would move all my money to AMC. Yeah, it'd be epic. I have stock in Trojan condoms. All right. Okay. All right. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Okay, uh, this is a relationship thing. So, I want to know if I should confront my girlfriend about some shit I found out. Whore. I was plugging in. I was plugging in her dildo uh, to charge it up. I you were you were charging her dildo for her. Well, yeah, you know, she she always comes out of the bathroom and says, hey, plug in my dildo. So she comes out of the bathroom. That. She always comes out of the bathroom and says, hey, plug in my dildo. Yeah. Every day she gets out of the bathroom, she goes, hey, plug in my dildo for me, bitch. Pretty much. Interesting. But, and what does she do with the dildo afterwards? Does she make you watch? No, it's not a dildo. It's a fucking vibrator. Okay. okay so, vi- sure. So no. does she make you watch with the vibrator? I mean... Watch? No, I fuck her while she uses it. Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. Yeah. But I, could I have anyway? <laughs> sure. So, I, I'm, do you I'm sit on a chair at, when you watch, or do you have to like do you choke yourself <laughs> with a rope while you watch? Listen, I got a big cock and sit sideways. Sure, I get sure, in there, sure, she sure. uses it, the vibrator at the same yeah. time she comes. Yeah, you it's got such thing. a big cock. I'm, yeah, okay. Sure. I, I look on her phone and. There's pictures she's of a guy with a smaller about, cock than yours, and she's, she's laughing. About, she's talking about buying a fucking restaurant in... Okay, Italy. listen, put your, put your girlfriend on the phone. She's not here, dude. Where is she? She doesn't, she doesn't know I saw her what it was Where on is her she? phone. Where is she? She's, buying, she's out running. She's out running at midnight? Well, dude, it's the West Coast. She well, she can't. She can't be. Uh, she can't be gone that long, right? How long's the run? Oh wait. No, dude, no, no. Oh wait. Oh wait. I'll wait for her to get back. Twenty-five. No, dude. Yeah, I'll wait for her to get back. No, no, wait. No, no. Just. I'll wait. Oh, for an hour and a half. She's she's gonna go out running for an hour and a half. She will be back. at wait. At twelve. I'll wait. Do you want to hear my? No, I don't want to hear your question. I want to talk to her. She's I'll not, wait. No. I'll wait. You're gonna wait an hour and a half. On yeah, the phone I'll wait. I'll sit here right now you on the phone for an hour and a half. Unless she's not real, dude. Unless she's fake, dude. Unless she's I've a fake. Her, unless she's fake and not years. real. And I unless she's, she's fake. Uh, no, no. Unless she's fake. Italy, unless she's fake. Which one is it? Is she fake real, or is she coming dude, back? No. She's real. She's real, so I guess we're going to wait then. And that includes you not talking. Listen. No, no. no the not talking The not talking part starts now. The not talking part starts now. She, I, I wouldn't let her talk to you anyway. Shh. You're fucking... Shh. Some gurgler, dude. What, what the fuck does she care about what you say anyway? I'm calling Small you for dick advice. fake girlfriend. She's not Small fake, dick fake dude. girlfriend. Oh my god, dude. Alright, forget shh, it. Shh. You don't want to hear it. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for her to get back. I'm waiting I'm waiting for her to get back. I asked her some advice. She doesn't know what I'm gonna ask you. Like I'm waiting for her to get back. I'm waiting for her to get back. She's buying a fucking restaurant. Excuse Italy. me. She's, Excuse me. You're talking like, too much. Get. You're talking too much. You're talking too much. Clap on. Cyanide T. Turn the lights on with X300. Small dick. 
Fake girlfriend, it's his vibrator. I think her family. Why are you still talking? Though. Why are you still talking? Alright, I won't fucking talk. I mean, that's you talking, that retard. Boring, you're talking right now. Isn't it boring? You're talking. You're talking, you're talking right now. Shut the fuck up. Are you stupid or something? Are you fucking stupid? Are you fucking stupid? Stop talking. Stop talking. We're waiting for her to get back. Stop fucking talking. Stop fucking talking. Stop talking. We're waiting for her to get back. Fucking pussy hung up. Fake fucking girlfriend, dude. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable, dude. The lengths they'll go to to lie about having a girlfriend. Dude, she's going on a run. She's not going to be back for two and a half hours. <laughs> Seriously? She's going on a two and a half hour run? A at fucking 9 p.m.? Seriously, dude? Get fucking real, dude. Get a grip. How can I be a better cuck? Get yourself a really long stool to sit on so it's uncomfortable. Kind of like you're at a bar and the stools are way too high. You ever go to a bar and the stools are too high? It's like, what the fuck are these people doing? You know what I mean? It's like you don't want the customers to have a good time. Clap on. Cyanide tea. Turn the lights for the on with X300. Dollarinis. We need a fake girlfriend tax for these people. Yeah, you should at least be paying if you're going to come in here and lie about having a girlfriend. You know, they're never home. They're never home. Oh, she's on a run. She's on a run for two and a half hours. She's not going to be home for two and a half hours. Dude, seriously? Seriously? Your girlfriend's on a run for two and a half hours? Get a, get fucking real, bro. Get fucking real. Get a grip. <sighs> the online advice show. Captain underscore Dogstar. Captain Dogstar. underscore Dogstar just subscribed. It's Toad Mode. That is so flipping true, Captain underscore Dogstar. That is so flippin' true. It's online advice show. We get online people for help online. Show. Undesirable Cheeks just subscribed. Paying my fake girlfriend tax now. <clears throat> really good stuff, Undesirable Cheeks. <laughs> thanks a lot for the Prime sub for 12 months. All right. And thanks a lot, I am the Tone Bone, for the $300 inies. And sign IT for the $300 inies as well. When next Survivor Pearl Island? On Friday... Every Friday. Every Friday night, okay, we watch Survivor in the Patreon members only Discord. That's right, fellas. If you would like to join the ranks of the elite on the internet, the internet elite, you must join patreon.com slash offline podcast show. And I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna get your guys' heads in a in heads in a twist or your panties in a knot. But next week's episode is freaking epic. Okay, and if you're not subscribed right now to patreoncom slash show patreoncom slash show you will not gain access to the members-only episode. That's right. Coming out this Friday is quite possibly the best episode yet. <clears throat> Can you interview Drac Bell? Uh, is Drac a member of World of Warcraft? Is Drac an orc? Sounds like an orc. <laughs> Torn female. Drac Bell. Hmm. Is it still two ninety nine to join? It never was two ninety nine J underscore nice one, but no. Okay, the Founders Club has closed. That's right, the doors are closed on the Founders Club. And you cannot get in. Sorry. Guess you fucked up. Guess you fucked up. And now you never know when the price might go up again. So you need to sign up to patreon.com slash offline podcast show. You don't want to miss out. You really don't want to miss out. Twenty dollars per month is fair. Shit, I'm going to raise the price. Shit, I'm going to raise the price. Shit. Mm -hmm. 
the online advice show. Mr. Mutes just go, subscribed. Mr. I got in at two dollars. I am smart. There you go. See, he got in at two dollars. He am smart. Will there be a yearly package deal? I'm not sure. In fact, I don't know if we can even. I keep checking to see if we're allowed to turn that option on. And Patreon hasn't enabled it for us yet. I don't think. I don't know how. It's it's Patreon is seriously the worst website on earth. It's so it it's awful, absolutely awful, the way they do things. All of the creator tools are are just terrible. It's like there's it it just doesn't make any sense. Um, like the worst part is, is I don't even know how to check. That's just that fucking oh, that's an article. Okay, go to your creator page, click edit. Where is the edit button? Edit page. The online advice show. Dot on your dog just subscribed. Yeah, it's still... It's still not here. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Stupid website. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Hey, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. is, is, is there a way a man can penetrate another man and, 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 he can, and he can also use the butt plug with another man? Is, is, is there a way a man can 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 can, 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 can come ejaculate and masturbate inside inside another man? Is there is there a way a man a man can can can, can come and ejaculate in, inside another man? Yeah. If is, you is listen, if you want to know about this, you should just ask your father, sir. I fucked him last night. Thanks for calling. Oh, unbelievable, dude! Unbelievable, dude! Unbelievable. Is there a way a man can ejaculate and masturbate inside of another man? Number 15, it's not masturbating if your dick's inside of another man's asshole. It's not masturbating. When I give you money, do you become stronger? Yes. Like that weed in Veggie Tales or whatever. Keep it real, plier. I do become more powerful when you give me money. And, um, you know, once I get to the level 100 hype train on Twitch, I will become immortal. And um, the stone obelisk that I have outside my house will activate and start glowing and I will be able to become conjoined with it and uh, float up into space back to where I belong. Where can we give you money? Basically anywhere. You can give me money here, bits, subs, uh, donations. You could just mail money. Um, well, actually, you can't anymore. I don't have a P.O. box right now. Um, you could buy me stuff on Amazon. You know, There's a wedding registry list that pops up every now and then in the chat. Um, like that. Yeah. Really great stuff. Thanks a lot, Sweatpants Zach, for the five, for the five tier one friendship subs. packages. Okay. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yeah! All right. Really good stuff, Sweatpants Zach. Very professional. <clears throat> 
Will you accept cash? Wrong accept, Vales. That's the wrong accept to use. You're going to use the accept with an A. Accepted. Not accept as in without. Okay? English is a difficult language, guys. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. You know, don't be sorry. Just do better. Okay? Just do better. Not asking for much. Clap on! CLG eight I'm the one on Patreon that asked how you almost died. Yeah, there's a video of it on YouTube from R Word Studios, uh, but I think we talk about that next week in the episode on Friday. I'm not sure. I think so. I can't remember. It's online advice show. We give people free help online. Thanks a lot, CLG eighty eighty for the three hundred dollarinis. Okay, really great stuff. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Speaking of YouTube, those fucking assholes think that I'm impersonating myself. And they won't let me monetize my channel because they think I'm impersonating myself. And now I don't know how to convince them that I am me. <clears throat> so I don't know what to do. So it's a classic case of mistaken, mistaken, mistaken identity. They have mistook me for someone who's impersonating myself. The day turned the lights on with X300. God bless you, Toad. And God bless America and the pygmies in New Guinea. Yeah, cool. Yeah, whatever. The yeah, guinea pigs are pretty cool. Yeah, thanks a lot to Dave Darren for the $300 Enies. Yeah, guinea pigs are pretty cool. Guinea pigs are pretty cool. Some people eat guinea pigs. Some people eat guinea pigs. Am I a fan of that? I don't know if I would say I'm a fan of it, but I... You know... It, does it piss me off? I don't know. Guinea pigs aren't very cute. Um, people eat guinea pigs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In Peru. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. But it's like... Eh. You know. Who, who am I? You know, who am I to judge? So I sent you my Zen code on Discord. Thanks a lot, Tor uh, Torba Titan. Um... If you sent me a Zin code on Discord, just wait, okay? Next month in May, I'm going to enter in those codes, and I will let you know if the code worked, and I will uh, give you your encouraging message, okay? But right now, I'm just letting them sit there in the pending messages box. That way, I don't forget about them, okay? Uh, I sent you my zip code. I don't need your address, I don't need your address. Create a second account. No, I, I don't. I don't. I don't think I need to create a second account. I don't think I need to create a second account. Um. In fact, it's like you know. Well, I don't know. Nah, I don't need a second account. Sixty codes a month is enough. It's kind of like a prize. It's kind of like a reward, you know. They ban you if they discover you made a second account. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I would never do that. I would never do anything to harm the Zin company or get them in, in by bad graces. I me, get me into their bad graces. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Hey, Toad. I uh, had a question. Great. Go ahead. So I have a condition. Okay. Uh, had a like well I guess it's not a condition. I had an allergic reaction, and uh, my sack swelled up like it's swole. And uh, like I, I'm I'm bed bound right now because of it. Uh -huh. And I I actually got to thank you because uh, I actually was able to get up today and actually turn off my PC from watching you. Why would you... That doesn't make any sense. You know, the joke doesn't work when you call in with it. You have to do that through, like, a, a message. And also, the joke is about someone in a coma waking up to turn off the TV. I called you... Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Uh, Thanks a lot for calling, sir. Doesn't make any sense when you do it that way, guys. The joke is about... I don't know if you guys have seen the joke before, but sometimes people will donate a message on Twitch and say, um, you know, my cousin's been in a coma for the last, you know, six months. Can you please pray for him? And then 30 seconds later, they'll say, oh, my God, he just woke up and turned the TV off. That's the joke. Okay, it doesn't work when you're calling because you're still, you're actively still watching and participating. Okay, that's why it doesn't make any sense. All right, guys, get your jokes straight, fellas. Okay, if you're going to make a joke, just do it correctly. All right. <clears throat> what do I do if I'm left-handed? Um, go to hell, sinner! Hell! Devil! Satan, go to hell! 
If you're left-handed, go to hell, you filthy sinner, you Satanist, you dirty devil person. Go to hell. <clears throat> Lefty Lucy, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Them lefties ain't right. That's that's so fucking true. That is so fucking true. <laughs> is that a left-handed hammer? No, it's not a left-handed hammer. Hammers are hammers are hammers are ambidextrous. Okay, I don't think there's any left or right-handed hammers out there. We need a left-handed camp. Hmm. 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 Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Hey, Coach. Hey, I got, uh, the I day got a Darren problem. turned the lights on with X300. Should I start a marathon of supermarket sweep from the 90s, or should I do something productive with my life? What? I said my dishwasher's broken, and I need some advice on how to fix this thing. I, I always yell at it, and it never, it never washes the dishes. Okay, the dishwasher is the woman... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you for calling, sir. I've heard that one about 10,000 times. Uh, thanks a lot to Dave Darren for the 300 dollarinis. Supermarket sweep? More like pooper park it peep. You know what I mean? Fuck it. The only old TV show anyone should be watching is Iron Chef. Because Iron Chef is 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 an awesome is an awesome TV show. Quiz on! Quiz on! Quiz on! Quiz on! Quit on, quit on, quit on. Iron Chef is is awesome. Quit on, quit on. <clears throat> only only real Ironheads, only real Ironheads know it. I love it when he bites the thing. It's not a thing; it's a pepper. Okay, he bites into a green bell pepper at the start of the fucking of of the iron of the kitchen stadium. Okay, listen, let's not fuck around. Every time, pretty much, I don't think every time, but at least like. I know for a fact that for at least one whole season he he bit into a green pepper, um, and that might be the same. But it, it changed. There's a lot of seasons of Iron Chef. There's a lot of seasons of Iron Chef. The show is a lie. Iron Chef is not a lie. Iron Chef is not a lie. <clears throat> no, it's an apple. I don't think it is an apple. I think he's biting into a green pepper. Let me look it up. Let's look up season one. Five years ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create kitchen stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. Artisan! To realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs. The, the Iron men Chefs. Of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Ch Chin Kenichi's a real demon. Chin Kenichi's a real demon on the walk. He really is. Sahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of Master Chefs from around the world. Go on, let's bite into the pepper. Chefs from around the world. Your brain. If my memory serves me right, this must be the day. He rises in. Oh, Please. Nobu. Masaharu Morimoto. Masaharu Morimoto. I believe. Come on, rise up. It's a bell pepper. It's a bell pepper. Yeah, it's a bell pepper. Online advice show. He's biting into a he's biting into a yellow bell pepper right there. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to El Porco 121. Listen, I know you can't see it. Oh shit! He's biting into a yellow bell pepper. Iron Iron Chef's a fantastic TV show. I'm gonna watch some Iron Chef tonight. After this, in fact, maybe I'll just turn the shit off and go watch Iron Chef. Fuck you, fucking retards. You people suck. The, the, the intro is super Shark long. Tank. The intro is super long. Top 10 worst deals Shark Tank. Thanks a lot to Floppy Jimmy for the Tier 1 Friendship Package for 36 months. Um, Shark Tank's a good TV show as well. You know what doesn't complain? Money. <laughs> 
I like to send my money out like little soldiers so they can bring back more money. My wife killed a woman with a boat. It's true, guys. Kevin O'Leary's wife killed killed somebody with a boat. Okay? Look it up, fellas. It's real. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Yo, um, so I'm new to Twitch. Cool. Do you have an what? online advice question today? Yes, I'm new to Twitch. How do I grow my channel? <laughs> How old are you? Uh, 14. 14 years old. You're 14 for real, for real? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, pal. Do yourself a favor and 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 get off of the internet and focus on school. Focus on getting a good career. Focus on getting a good job so you can make money and uh, fill a, live a fulfilled life. I I have A's and B's and I'm starting a business. I just do gaming. What, on the what's side. what's the business you're starting? Uh, business dropshipping. <laughs> Your business drops. So you're gonna dropship businesses to other businesses. Yeah, it's pretty much yeah. That's pretty much yeah. You're gonna so what's the what what businesses are you selling on the drop shipping of the businesses? Uh well it's usually what's going right now. Right now I'm selling like these hairbrush type things because yeah. it's summer weather. Selling and hairbrush gonna, type things. Because people don't brush their hair in the winter. Yeah, well, they, they, because of all show. the frizz. Ten you know? underscore code <laughs> you know, just I'm subscribed. I'm in the tub right time. now. Lynn, are you are you, uh, are you being are you being serious? Yes. Uh, you know, you know, none of this is uh, is real, right? Well, it's not real. You're being tricked by the Instagram, and you're being tricked by TikTok. Like drop shipping is not a real business. The jungle turned the lights on with X three hundred. Can I get the song of my people? The cooks need to sleep well tonight. How does it work? Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to Shopify. Uh huh. No, that is. I've used Shopify before. Yes. Yeah, and then you want to go to this other platform uh-huh. where you buy the product, yeah. and then you market it on Shopify. Yeah. And what I did, I, I looked up Shopify. YouTube videos on how to build my website. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And have you sold anything? Yes, I made a abandoned two days. You made abandoned two days. A thousand dollars in yes. two days. You made. Yes, I did. Now is that revenue? Uh, yes, pure profit. No, revenue and profit are two different things. Hello? Do, have, have you broken? Keep going, keep going. What do you mean keep going? Revenue and profit are two different things. You said that you made a band in two days. Is that revenue? Yes. That Wait. was the revenue. It was once $1,000. The revenue is right. Things like a hundred, hundred like yeah. okay. Listen, kid, I'm not going to fall for your bullshit and your lies. Okay, I'm way too old I'm and I've been around the block too many times. Listen, do yourself a big favor, and you need to move past this stuff because it's going to end up hurting you in the long run. The hard part is that you don't understand that right now. You're locked into something because you got sold an idea from social media. Some influencer sold you this idea, right? And I know that because that's how everybody knows about it. Because people made videos about it, and they were selling people the idea, okay? Um, Did you ever hear or see a video of someone say, hey, you can make all this money from home instantaneously? Yeah, right. And have you ever heard the saying that if something's free, you're the product? Yes. Yes. Okay, so in this scenario, if someone online says, hey, you know, this is a free way to make money, it's instant, it's guaranteed, it's online, all it takes is a small investment, you know, I'll sell you a video course, I'll sell you access to a book, I'll teach you how to do it for a small amount of money. You ever pay any money to learn how to do any of this? No. No. You did it all for free online, huh? Yeah, you just gotta buy the product. You just gotta buy the product. Yeah. Yeah. I'm familiar. I'm familiar with how this works familiar with how this works and so what happens when people don't buy the thing that you bought i lose money you know you lose money yeah yeah and how many times do you think you can do that before you go bankrupt mm-hmm. you don't know yeah this is unfortunate you're a victim you're a victim of social media it's very unfortunate you're 14 years old you're supposed to be uh, having fun you know doing uh, stuff outside um, hanging out with people you know riding the bicycle on the street you know running around in the forest yeah 
Do you do any of that stuff? Do you have any friends? Yes, I do. How many friends you got? Four close friends. Four close friends. When's the, la when's the last time you guys all got together and did something? Um, a week or two ago, we went to this place. You don't know what Mardi Gras is? I'm uh, familiar with Mardi Gras. You shouldn't be participating in that. Why? You're 14 years old. There's nothing for you to do there. Yeah, we just hung out and got some bees and some, like, food. Hung out and got bees and food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any aspirations for life? Do you, do you, uh, do you see yourself somewhere when you're 21 years old? Hopefully making a bunch of money, bro. Hopefully making a bunch of money, yeah. You're not going to get there by um, wasting your time on uh, Twitch and drop shipping stuff. You're not going to get there doing that. Okay. Yeah. You don't believe me, though. Not really. Yeah, that's the tough part. The tough part <laughs> is trying to get you to understand that you're wrong, but it's difficult because you're stuck right now. You're stuck on an idea and a vision. You know, if it was this easy, if it really was this easy, you know, why don't you just do it right now? Don't you? You should be able to make all the money right now. Yeah. So why? How come you're not making? You know, enough money to buy a house. What's going to change? That's what I'm asking you. Is what's going to change for you? Where's the money going to show up? Have you thought about that at all? Not really. I'm really not really. Out. You just think it's going to happen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. A lot of people a lot of people are like you and they end up working at Walmart bagging my groceries. Um and it sucks cuz I don't want to see you end up at Walmart putting my shit in the bag. Well, I try not to make eye contact with you because you look gross. I don't want you to be there. <laughs> Is that where you want to be? You're laughing, but it's it's going to be life for you. Nah. Nah, you don't want to be there, right? You don't want to be the guy working at Walmart putting the shit in the bags. No, sir, I don't. Yeah. Nobody wants to be that person. It's gross. Walmart's disgusting. It's a gross fucking it's, place. I don't even shop at Walmart. <clears throat> you know, I don't like seeing people like you. You need to come up with a plan. You need to come up with a real plan in life so that you can figure out what you're going to be doing. You can make a lot of money if you want, if you do, if you make the right decisions now. Mm -hmm. But drop shipping is not the right decision, and neither is Twitch. Drop shipping is what I'm going to do for like a year or two, and then I'm going to no. switch. That's it's. Listen, you're going to end up. Listen, man. The whole here's the problem. You're in at the end. You're in at the end, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't think you get that. You're just going. Mm-hmm. But you're you're here at the end of the line. Like people don't even do this shit anymore. What do you mean? What do you mean? The dropshipping thing is over. That meme died fucking two years ago. Hmm. Nobody's falling for it anymore. Except for you. I mean, you're falling for trying to sell it, but people aren't falling for buying the shit anymore. Hmm. You're just grunting. No, I'm just like kind of confused. You're confused. How? What are you confused about? Um, I don't know how to explain it. I'm just kind of confused. Yeah. Here's the thing. Have you have you heard of uh, you've heard of Temu? Yes, I've heard of them. Yeah, yeah, they operate on a direct to consumer model. Do you know what that Aren't means? They, they're under like investigation by the FBI, right? Who gives a fuck? Doesn't matter. They're Chinese. The FBI mm -hmm. can't do anything to them. And, that, and that's Panda Buyer anyway. I think they they bought and sold counterfeit shit. But Tamu operates direct to consumer. Do you know what that means? Yes. What does it mean? Straight to consumer, where straight they take consumer. the product and take it straight to the consumer. Right. And so what are you doing? I'm taking it. I'm giving the money to the corporation. I'm taking the corporation sends it to the people that buy it. Yeah, you're a middleman. You're trying yeah. to get in in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's over now. That's over. The Chinese companies realized they could just sell their garbage directly to people and people would buy it. Temu has fucking billions of dollars to use as marketing and advertising. No one's going to buy your shit, bro. No one's going to buy your shit. No one. All it takes is one dud and you're done. 
You're finished. You're out of money and your business is, is folded. Yes, sir. You don't have the money in order to be able to keep up with these kinds of risks. Mm. Right? Mm. Would you invest... How about this? Would you invest in your own company right now? No. You wouldn't? No, sir. Right. So does that make you think it's a good idea or a bad idea? So far, it's kind of a... Uh... Oh my gosh, closer to a bad idea. Closer to a bad idea, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. you got to think about it like that. If you had $100,000 right now, do you think, hey, maybe I should invest it on doing this, or should I invest it somewhere else, somewhere safe, somewhere where I'm actually going to get a return? Say that one more time, sorry. Right, okay, never mind. You already answered the question. You said you wouldn't invest in your own business, okay? That tells you enough to know that it's not a good idea. Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, what do you enjoy? You said you like playing video games? You enjoy playing the video games? Yes, I do. What kind of video games do you play? Uh, Call of Duty. That's really it. Call of Duty. That's a, that's a classic, you know. Yes, when, I, when I was your age, a Call of Duty game came out. You know what it was called? Call of Duty... What was it? Advanced Warfare? No, bro. How fucking... These kids, bro. These kids. Advanced Warfare. When I was your age, you called it the Advanced Warfare. It was called Call of Duty 4, bro. Okay? Yeah, no. It was Call of Duty 4. Like my dad okay, Modern Warfare. Okay, Call of Duty Modern mm-hmm. Warfare. Okay? And I got onto the game with my friends, and I yelled the N-word, and uh, I, I called yeah. people terrorists, you know, and I said I was going to come to their house and murder their family, and, and so on and so forth, right? And it was a good time. That's what 14-year-olds do online, Okay. I don't know why you're laughing. It's true. It's what 14 year olds do online. All right. It's what they do online. And, um, you know, not to say that you should be doing that exactly. You know, maybe you could, you know, cut out some of those portions. But you should focus on having a good time. You should just be having fun. You're 14 years old. You shouldn't be thinking about running a business and and trying to make it as a social media star. These, these things are wastes of your time. Do you get that? Or. Yeah, I kind of get what, what your perspective is on this. Yes, right. it's not really my perspective. It's just sort of like a fact, you know. Because you're going to end up being underdeveloped, and you're not going to like uh, experience a lot of the, the social aspects of life, you know, by hanging out with people and like making friends and trying to have a good time and enjoy yourself. You're you're too caught up with these like adult activities, um, and you're going to end up being 30 years old one day, and you're going to look back and go. Fuck, how come I didn't, you know, how come I didn't have more fun when I was a kid? Sir? You don't want to be that guy saying, you know, I wasted my youth. Yes. No one wants to be that guy. Right? The online advice show. (laughs) You think you're going to go to college? You're not going to go to college. No. Why not? Because I don't really like school. You don't really like school? I thought you said you got A's and B's, though. Yes, that's because my parents push me. Because your parents push you. So what are you going to do without an education? Uh, high school is the education I need. I don't really need to go to college. You do. Listen, the only reason I would listen, go to listen, college listen, is listen, if listen, I have listen, a particular listen. job. Listen, listen, listen. You... <laughs> oh, man. Man, that's a bad idea. Man, that's a bad idea. University, a four-year university degree is the new high school degree. You know why? Yes. It's so no, much no, no. money, Listen, bro. You, if I had the money, I'd do it. So you don't have the cash? Mm-mm. I right. do not. So what are you going to do with just a high school education? Get as much money as I can. Try to start a business. Yeah. The business thing just... Yeah. The part you're missing is that nobody who has a large business has ever financed it themselves. You don't get that, though. Yes. Who are you going to get to finance the business? Someone in Nigeria, of course. Someone in Nigeria. Okay. I hope you I hope you enjoy being a kid. Okay? And try and spend your days having fun instead of um, doing any bullshit online. Okay? Try and stay away from the internet as much as possible. And uh, just have a good time. Okay, sir? Thanks a lot for calling.
Yes, sir. Can't deal with these children these days. Social media has ruined has ruined an entire generation of people. Social media has confused them and sent them down a horrible mental K hole. Um, it's uh, it's sad. It's sad. It really is sad. You know, what a well mannered lad. Yeah, he seems all right as a kid, but like. You know, he's sitting around talking about drop shipping. Like, bro, drop shipping ended years ago. Like, by the time you heard about drop shipping, it's over. He, he's just gonna he's just gonna start a business and make a bunch of money. But like, you know, has no clue what it is. Has no has no clue how he's gonna pay for it. You know. Ugh. <sighs> Just no, no. There's hope. I don't think there really is any hope for someone like that. I gotta be honest with you. I don't think there really is any hope for someone like that. And it sucks because they are the future. <laughs> but the issue is, is that they... The future has now decided that they want to... Everyone's going to run a business and also be a social media star. <clears throat> but the problem is that is not that is not possible. <sighs> it's just simply not possible for everybody to run a business and also be a social media star. Bezos did it. He also got like a million dollars from his parents. Nobody with a big business has ever funded it themselves, bros. Okay? Everybody likes to talk about how Microsoft and shit all started in someone's garage uh, because they dropped out of university, but also their parents lent them like a million dollars and gave them like a free place to, to operate and do business and like all of the tools they need to, like, you know, get shit going. You know what I mean? Like, millions of dollars of runway and, like, unlimited opportunities and, like, a Rolodex with famous people's names in it. Um, you know. It's just not sustainable. It's online advice show, fellas. We give people free help online. All you got to do is call the phone number 202-935-0688. You can call in and receive free help online. Very professional, fellas. Really great stuff. <clears throat> Pretty much everybody who's wealthy has... Like, I don't... Dude, is there is there legitimately any... Is there any company... Okay, in the S&P 500 that was built up by bootstraps by, like, one guy. Is there any company in the S&P 500 that has ever been built up by fucking some guy's bootstraps and, like, and made up, like, from, you know, not from, like, having wealthy parents and not having, like, any connections and... Like, rags to riches, dude. Like, literally rags to riches. Like, a guy who had nothing and nobody... And went out and became a multi-billionaire. Like, how many of those are there? Scrub Daddy. Scrub Daddy's pretty big. Berkshire Hathaway. Ford LOL. Domino's Pizza. Mostly low or no tech plays. Huh. Yeah, but somewhere along the line, those people all get very lucky, right? And they get bought out or they get, like, an angel investment. I'm saying, like, genuinely, genuinely built up without, like, like, without any fucking, like, infusion of any kind. Like, without any dilution either. And gone public. <clears throat> lol amazon 
Yeah, he never had any help. Is it better to be healthy or wealthy? Wealthy, because you can always pay a doctor to fix your shit. Whoa, dude, I can make a mosquito noise. Tohi underscore cheered. X1000. Respect the fan. Toy for the 1,000 dollarinis. That's right. We have Chinese Kung Fu fan for Kung Fu and Chinese Kung Fu aluminum metal fan, 23 inch fan for Chinese Kung Fu and Kung Fu Chinese. Dragon fan for Kung Fu. Uh, <clears throat> really great stuff. Uh, I think it might be sody time. I think it might be sody time. I think it might be sody time. I think it's time to get a sody. I think it might be time to grab a sody. I think it's sody time. I think it's sody time. I think it might be time for a sody. Imaginary escapist turned the lights on with X300. Will you be getting sodies for the rest of the class? I don't have enough. I don't have enough sodies. online advice show legal kegel just subscribed 13 months pimp
the online advice show. Pepkin just subscribed. Sir to Bob and gifted a tier one sub to Pepkin. Okay. This is Sir to Bob and for gifting a tier one friendship package to Pepkin. Really great stuff. <sighs> Where do sodies fall in the American food pyramid? Bottom level, most abundant. <sighs> That's a good sody. <laughs> Dip my nose into it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> mm. Oh, that's a good Saudi. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Uh, hello. Hello, how can I help you today? Um, what, what is this stream? It's Online Advice oh. Show. We give people free help online. Do you have an online advice question today? Oh, yes. Um, how do I grow? Like, how, how do I grow my YouTube you listen, pal. Give up, okay? Give up. Do something better with your time. Read a book. Watch a documentary. Okay? Do literally anything else. It's a total waste of your time. Why? You'll never be famous and you're never going to make any money. Okay? That's it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Um, n no. Okay, really great stuff. Thanks a lot for calling, sir. <clears throat> That's an easy one. Such encouraging words. We should actively discourage people from doing most things. I discourage people from being homeless. I don't think it's good. I think you should buy a house. Um, I discourage people from dropping out of school unless they're really dumb. You know, get a job. Get an education. <coughs> Murder is usually bad. Murder is all... It, it's not murder if you break... If you, It's not murder if you kill someone who breaks into your home. It's self-defense. You know what I mean? The crime murder is almost always bad. It is still murder. Murder in self-defense. That's okay. You know? I discourage people from being pedophiles. That's not okay. You know what I mean? It's not okay to have sex with kids. It's not okay. Um, it's not okay to be a rapist. Also not okay. Um, being bestiality. I discourage that as well. Having sex with animals. Also not okay. Um, <clears throat> you know. There's various things that I discourage people from doing. Okay. And wasting a lot of time on YouTube is definitely one of them, okay? I discourage people from wasting the majority of their life making YouTube videos that no one will ever see. You're just not going to make it, bro. You know, you're too old, you're too young. It's unfortunate. Hell, even the YouTube celebrities from from the get-go of YouTube, those people all those people have all disappeared. Those people are all gone. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Hello, how much is it to buy your colostomy bag? I don't have one of those. Do you have an online advice question today? Fine. No. Okay, bye. Simple pimple pimple. FoosyTube. FoosyTube is not one of the original YouTube people anyway. He's, uh, FoosyTube was relatively late to the game himself. And he made fucking strange videos. Strange weird pranks about kissing women. Uh, it was always kissing mothers, you know? 
It's like, hey, what happens if I kiss this mother? You know? I don't know. I don't get it. I Justine, original tuber. Does I Justine even still exist? Ray William Johnson. That guy's on TikTok now. You know? That guy's on TikTok. Here. Here's the real deal at the end of the day. Okay? If you were going to do these things, you know, if it was going to work for you, you'd already be doing it. You know what I mean? Like, you'd already be doing it if it was going to work for you. Or if you were going to be any good at it. And uh, it's not just like YouTube. It's a whole bigger. It's a whole bigger situation than all of that. <clears throat> OG YouTubers were poorly monetized. Yeah, or barely at all. You know, they got AdSense revenue, which is fucking dog dog water. And then the ad the ad blocker came to be. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Hi. Do you think OJ did it now that he's dead? Certainly. Have you ever seen the cover of his fucking book? Thanks a lot for calling, sir. Online advice questions only, please. Okay? Uh, of course fucking OJ did it. Of course he fucking did it. He admitted to it like a hundred times. The dude was a certified freak. Uh, what's the best build on Helldivers 2? I don't play bullshit retard Reddit games. Okay? I play cool games like Risk of Rain 2 um, and Cookie Clicker. Mm. Oh. Mm. Uh. <coughs> That's a delicious sodi. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ah. <clears throat> Anyone who drinks room temperature sodies can go fuck themselves. Okay? Let's just fucking say it how it is, bro. If you're drinking warm sodies, go to hell. Okay? Go to fucking hell. Who the fuck drinks a warm sodi? Who the fuck drinks a warm fucking sodi, dude? If I come to your house and I say, hey, uh, any chance I can get a sodi around here? And you go, yeah, they're in the fucking pantry. I'm going to fucking look at you like this. I'm not going to go, where? You're going to go, they're in the pantry. I'm going to open up the pantry to check. And there's going to be a case of sodies in there. And I'm going to grab one of them and I'm going to hurl it at your head. <clears throat> I'm going to hurl the fucking can at your head as hard as I fucking can. Next to the ice machine. I don't want... Listen, here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. <coughs> ice? Just add ice? You are so retarded. You are so retarded! Warm sodi with ice is the worst thing you could possibly do. All you get is watered down, slightly cold, lukewarm, uh, medium, wet sodi. That doesn't even taste good. <clears throat> the only way you ever put ice in a sodi is if the sodi's already cold. Okay? If you want to have an extra cold, icy sort of drink, then you can have some ice and a cold sodi. So you order drinks, no ice at McDonald's. I do get the drinks with ice at McDonald's. But that's because they, they pour cold soda directly into it. It's ice plus cold soda. It's not ice plus warm soda. Ice plus warm soda is like sociopath shit. I'd rather have nothing at all. Uh, I'd rather have nothing at all if that was the fucking situation. Ice plus warm soda. I'd rather go thirsty that day. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Hi, so... I have a question for you. Okay, great. That's the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, well, thank you. Um, so, how would you say would you help with depression? Or like, what do you think could better depression? Oh, I'm sorry. You're depressed? Yeah. Then why the fuck did you call me, you gross sicko? Rip. 
Fucking yeah. gross, sick, depressed person. Are you kidding? Are you lonely too? I bet. No. You're not lonely. No. You're telling me that you're the only depressed person who's not lonely on the planet Earth. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why are you depressed? Childhood trauma. <laughs> Childhood trauma has left you depressed. Like what? Uh, abuse. What kind? Physical. Physical abuse. People whacked you up. Yep. Yeah, whipped you good, huh? <laughs> Snapped the yep. belt at you, huh? Unfortunately. What'd they do? Oh, uh, <laughs> everything. Every they did everything. They poked you with needles and burnt you with cigarettes and cigars, huh? Not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, let me guess. You're white. I'm half. Half white and half what? Middle Eastern. Oh, half Middle Eastern. Interesting. Dad is Middle Eastern. Yep. Yeah, Dad is Middle Eastern. Dad did the majority of the whippings. Yep. Yeah. Things are different back home, bro. Things are different back in the East, bro. That's what you do to bad kids. Were you being a bad kid? I wasn't, actually. Are you sure? So he just whipped you for fun for no reason. He was addicted to drugs, so... I was a drug addict. What kind of drugs? Uh, heroin. Heroin. Okay, so you're telling me that a nodded-off heroin addict had the virility to whip you. Yeah. Yeah. When he was laid out on the opiates, he was. He'd just fucking go crazy with it. Yeah, I mean, drug addicts get angry. <clears throat> so. You just said it wasn't that bad, though. Well, I didn't get poked with needles or get burned with cigarettes. Yeah. So. So what happened? You got spanked? No, I got beaten the shit out of. Beaten the shit out of. Like yeah. like he would run combos on you, uppercuts. Basically, hmm. literally, yeah. Yeah. No one ever intervened. No. Mm -hmm. Why not? Because I'm the oldest. Because you're the oldest, right? But mom never intervened. Nope. No, mom just let it happen. Cats being such haters right now. What? How does being haters right now? Don't fucking read the chat, stupid ass bitch. Oh. Don't fucking read the fucking chat. <laughs> fucking dipshit. Don't read. How old are you? Okay. I'm almost 23. Almost 23 years old. And and do you live uh, live alone? I do. Uh, do you have a job? I do. What do you do? I work at the farmer's market and I... Groom dogs. You work at the farmer's market and you groom dogs, so you never went to school. I am going to school. For what? Cybersecurity. <laughs> it's always the same thing. It's <laughs> it's always the same thing, guys. It's always the same thing. And what made you pick the cybersecurity? I grew up PC gaming. I grew up PC gaming. Cybersecurity for ROTC. Uh -huh. So I got into it. Uh huh. And how much are you paying for this? I took out a loan. How much is the loan? It's about ten thousand dollars. And how far are you into this? It starts in a week. So you haven't actually gone yet. No, but I've done other. Wow! Stores. Do yourself a huge favor. Get your money back and drop out. Why drop out? Because the, it's it, you're falling. You're falling for a scam. You're falling for a sales tactic. You're falling for something that people are selling you. Okay, you're being ripped off. Do yourself a huge favor and get your fucking money back, bro. This is like the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. The cybersecurity thing. 
it's so 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 painfully common these days and it's not even a real education it's not even authentic or real whatsoever it's like nothing it's like paying someone a bunch of money to teach you basically nothing and also give you no credentials you're not going to get a job going to school for cybersecurity at like where you're going to go to some sort of state school you're going to go to a college it's a state school and they have job placement the job placement's not real it's not real it's a lie it's fake okay you could get a job right now doing whatever you would be doing at this hypothetical job placement if you spend i don't know 200 and 250 dollars 250 dollars and i can get you a job that probably pays you close to 22 dollars an hour which is what you're going to get after school anyway Nice. So I've got to look into this now. And you should have looked into this at the start. I mean, I don't know why you. Um, I don't know why you didn't. So what'd you, you know, what'd you do? You see an advertisement for this somewhere, like on TikTok or some shit? Uh, no, my you know, I was going to community college, and mm. I saw I was in the computer science program, and the university for my city was offering a cybersecurity program to get your certificates. Certificate. There you go. That's the key right there. Certificate. And you thought, hell yeah, I'll jump on that. Sounds like a good opportunity. Because everybody's always talking about how certificates are so so useful from a college. Yep. I'm, I want to get my certificates and then after I'll go to college again. Mm-hmm. Then you're going to go to college again. Like you just got infinite time and infinite money, infinite debt. Right? Let's just keep on taking debt. You know, be serious for a second. It doesn't sound like you have any clue what you're doing. You were doing computer science at a university. Right? Yeah. And do you have debt for that? I do. How much is the debt for that? Well, I also went to beauty school before that, so I'm in debt $25,000. Wow. Wow. Oh, twenty five thousand. Then you're taking out another ten for the new school. Yeah. Who's just lending you all of this money for different educations that you're not finishing? Well, I finished uh, the beauty school. You finished I beauty school. You know who else went to beauty school? Luann from King of the Hill. She also went to Beauty Academy. Yeah, she wasn't very. Uh, she wasn't a very sharp pencil either. That cartoon character. Um, <clears throat> Very, very strange. This is a very, this is a very odd situation that you've put yourself in. Um, I suggest you. You don't have any family. It sounds like. Um, do you have any friends? I have two friends. Do you have two friends? Do they make good money? They make normal amount. What is normal? Like sixteen an hour. Okay, that's not normal. That's really bad. Actually, that's like below. Like below average, Dunkin' Donuts is hiring people for like eighteen bucks an hour. Um, so you only know poor people. Um, but uh, this state, um, I don't know how you say it. It's seven twenty-five here, so sixteen is actually good. Seven twenty-five is the is the federal minimum wage. Okay, um, no one is actually being paid seven twenty-five, um, except for maybe a slave, someone who has like blackmail on them or something. Uh, Sixteen is not really good. You need to reevaluate. You need to change your perspective. Um, you have the wrong perspective, and you have the wrong ideas inside of your head. You need to pivot so that you can become more fulfilled and more actualized. Because right now, as it stands, you're going to end up being paid turts. Okay, dog shit money. You're gonna get you're gonna get twenty dollars an hour, and you're gonna think, "Whoa, this is sick," because um, you think sixteen's already a lot, which it isn't. Okay, and then you're gonna end up in a dead end fucking job, basically doing nothing, not knowing anything, not knowing how to improve, um, and you're gonna be a depressed, sad, lonely sack who has um, hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt because you're not gonna be able to pay down the principal at all. You're just going to be stacking interest for the rest of your life, and you're gonna end up being a nothing person who works at Walmart. Is that what you want to be, a nothing person? No. No, you don't want to be a nothing person. Well, that's why I'm going to school so much. 
listen, the going to school thing so much is like ridiculous. This is the craziest shit I've ever heard. It doesn't make any sense. None of this makes any sense, and you're lying to me, and I don't know why you're lying. I'm not lying. You are lying, obviously, because it doesn't make any sense that someone in a computer science program would then change to a cybersecurity certificate. That doesn't make any sense. So where's the lying? Where's the lying happening? Why are you lying? I'm not lying. I you was are lying. failing classes. So I was like, I will do a certificate program. So you were going for a bachelor's of science. You are going to get a uh, bachelor's computer science. Is that what it was before? Yeah. And how long did you do that for? I did it on and off. On and off for two years. Thanks a lot, Toei, for the one thousand dollar X one thousand. Respect the fan and That's pick a right. subject. Respect the fan and pick a subject. No, someone like this is not picking anything. She's just going with what she thinks she should do. Um, you're falling into a very classic trap. It's a very, very, very common pipeline. Video game player into video game maker. Um, it's a, it's a trap. It's a trick. Um, you're being confused. Um, video games are not a hobby. Okay, they're not something that you get to be enthusiastic about. They're not something that define you or give you any character traits. It's something that shit tons of people do in order to waste time. Okay, so the playing a lot of video games thing and then going into computer career. It's not how that works. It doesn't make you adept. It doesn't make you talented. It doesn't make. It doesn't give you an edge uh, ahead of anybody. Um, in fact, if anything, it'll make you worse because you're doing things for the wrong reason. Okay. And why did you not do anything with your beauty academy education? There is currently uh, a surplus of people going into it, so there's literally no jobs for it. You're worried about Unless the. You're worried about the. Office. You're worried about the surplus of the beauty um, graduates. Yeah. I got some really bad news for you then because uh, as it turns out there's an even larger surplus of idiots who think they're going to get into a career in cybersecurity. There's an there's an even larger group of people who think they're going to uh they think they're going to go for a cybersecurity certificate and they think they're just going to get jobs. There's an even greater number of those people than there are the beauty academy people. You'd make more money as a hairdresser right now if you just stop and, and went and cut people's hair. Yeah, at Great Clips, you'd probably make more money in tips. Not even kidding. I mean, only if I could find a job for it. You couldn't find a job cutting people's hair? I'm actually an esthetician. I don't, I'm not a cosmetologist. What's that mean? You put makeup on people? So, so makeup, skincare, yeah. waxing. That's crazy. That's not even a job. I see bitches do that in the bathroom every day. You thought some bitch was going to pay you to do that for her. Bitches do that in the bathroom every day. That's crazy. Mm. Mm. That's crazy. Can you get your money back? Can you can you uh, cancel this uh, cybersecurity debacle? I can. You can. Do yourself a huge favor. Okay, <clears throat> get your money back and cancel. Drop out. Don't go. Okay, don't go. If you think it's bad for uh, estheticians or whatever the fuck you said, it's ten times worse for for all of the deluded people who think they're going to have a career in cybersecurity um, and get a certificate and do it because it's just not real. It's just simply not real. Okay, it, it's like uh, okay. it's like in the ultimate fallacy. It's like something that doesn't even exist. Okay. Um. Become a plumber. Yeah, you probably have a way better time plumbing, you know. Make more money, get a job, cleaning out toilets. There's nothing wrong with cleaning out toilets. You know, people like to clean out toilets. Some people enjoy cleaning out toilets, Germans mostly. <sighs> you know, I'd hate to see you wake up two years down the line, $50,000 in debt, and, you know without mincing words, blow your head off with a rifle because you're heading down a dark path, a dark path of doldrum, depression, horrible, horrible misdoings. You're going to harm yourself if you do this. I'm not even fucking kidding with you, seriously. This is the worst thing you could possibly do right now. Terrible decision, just straight-up terrible decision. You know, And the worst part is that you don't understand it because you've been tricked um, you've been tricked by somebody, and I don't even—I don't even think university should be offering it. It's—it's it's almost become a scam in and of itself. The fact that they would charge you to get a certificate. Um, 
It's very silly. It's very silly. And how much do you get paid doing the dog grooming in the farmer's market? Um, they're both 12 an hour, and I get tips. It sucks. Both $12 an hour, and you get tips. And what state do you live in? I live in Texas. You live in Texas. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Getting yourself, uh, just letting them work you over, huh? Yep, it's the only jobs I could find at the moment. It's the only job you could find. What about like uh, McDonald's? I don't want to go to McDonald's. Why not? You better than McDonald's? That was always the lowest of the low. McDonald's workers make more money than you. I know. So how can you say that McDonald's is the lowest of the low when they make more money than you? I just think fast food. I grew up fast food with being the worst job you could get. No, you didn't. You're, you're, what are you talking about? You're, you're too I young to have that food. idea that fast food's the worst job you can get. You're too young to have that idea. Fast food employees actually make pretty decent money because they work for large corporations and there's lateral movement. You can move up at McDonald's. It's a gigantic corporation. You know where you're not going to move up is at the dog grooming business and the farmer's market. Okay? Um... You would make more money right now at, at fucking McDonald's than at the farmer's market and the dog groomer. Um, <clears throat> and uh, you're not willing to try anything that would actually work. You're just trying to... Here's your issue in life, and I figured you out. I figured you out. It's unfortunate. I'm going to tell you the truth now. You're not going to like it, okay? Are you ready? All right. Okay? You're not good enough. Yeah. Okay? That's it. You're not good enough. <laughs> You're not good enough, and you know you're not good enough because you've been whipped and beaten and abused your whole life. And you've decided to settle for less because you're a victim. Okay? And uh, as long as you decide to settle for less and be a victim of circumstance and your whippings and your beatings, you're just going to be beating yourself into a submissive position for the rest of your life. And you're going to be a nothing person. Is that what you want? I do not. You do not want to be a nothing person. You have to get a job at McDonald's sometimes. You know, there's nothing wrong with McDonald's. There's literally nothing wrong with McDonald's. You'd make more money and you'd work consistent hours at McDonald's. Hell, the fucking grocery store stacking onions. You'd make more money, work consistent hours. Probably meet some interesting people, to say the least. <sighs> have opportunities, you know, be able to save some money. Um... And then you can figure out a real plan for what you want to do with your life. But it doesn't sound like you want to figure that out. You just want to do bullshit. No, I'm trying to figure everything out. You're not, because you wouldn't have jumped into paying $10,000 for a fake education if you were really trying to figure things out. I'm just lost. You didn't even look into it. You didn't even look into it. You can't tell me you're trying to figure it out when you didn't even look into it. Didn't even check. Hmm? The online oh, advice show. Theater event just subscribed. Do you Everyone think if anything is possible, it's still possible for anything environment. to be impossible? Everyone that I've met in the cyber field. Everyone you've met in the cyber field. So, what, where's the cyber field? League of Legends, World of Warcraft? You meet these people online no. or something? I live in a city that's majority military based, and it's a cyber, like one of the bases for it, for the military. Cyber bases. And <laughs> one of the military I, I cyber bases. To, yeah. Oh my. I don't know how to explain it. Yes, but, here, here, that's, that's the problem. Therein lies the problem. You don't even know how to explain what you're trying to do, yet you're trying to do it. Right? Therein lies the problem, lady. The, the, far, the fact that you don't see that is concerning, and it's going to mean that you're going to end up being a nothing person. I don't know why you're talking about the military anyway, because any of those people would tell you that you have to enlist to get those jobs. You want to do some shit in the military, IT, you have to enlist. Go fucking enlist. Take the ASVAB. Join the Air Force. I am not able to because I have spine damage, or I would. Mm -hmm. 
Not able to because you have spine damage. <clears throat> yeah. So then why are you talking to military people and trying to get uh, the low-key on military jobs? Just like contractor jobs. Contractor jobs, yeah. Those go to skilled people who are good at what they do. Um, and they have companies that can, you know, put in bids and, like, uh, you know, take on contracts and stuff. Like, that's not you. You know, that's not you. That's not a pipeline for you. Dead in the middle of little, literally, little. Did we know that we riddled to middle, man, didn't do diddly? Tohi underscore cheered. X1000. Honestly, if you want it, you will work for free for a cybersecurity person. Learn what you can, network, and hope you can get a job after this. Maybe. What'd you say? Oh, I need to get out of this program. Yeah, you need to get out, get your money back, and, um, you know, take two seconds to actually Google something before you just sign up and spend a bunch of money first. Okay? Thanks a lot for calling, sir. You, but you're kind of dull like a rock. <sighs> Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Thanks a lot, Toey, for the one thousand dollarinis. Okay, <laughs> really great stuff. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah. Okay, it's online advice show. We give people free help online. Some people are just dull, you know. Some people are just dull. Uh, it's just, uh, God, it's exhausting, too. It's exhausting talking to some of them. Well, it takes it out of me. It makes me want to, makes me want to go upstairs and just fucking watch Iron Chef all night. You know? Just saying cybersecurity indicates you are a fucking noob. What do they even think cybersecurity is? They don't know. That's the problem. They don't know. Like... <clears throat> You know, you want to be like a network engineer? Like, yeah, you'd be... Like, cybersecurity is like a facet of, like, of the stack, you know? Like, it's like a facet of the enterprise stack of operations. And they don't even understand that, right? They think that they're, like, going to go to an office and, like, <laughs> like play play triangle fighters all day. And, like, the, you know, they're like, do, 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 do. And, like, they're, like, fighting viruses or some shit. Like, it's like they have no clue... Like, what any of it is, dude. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, one cybersecurity, please. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, man, it's just, it's just ridiculous. And, dude, there's this crazy fucking, there's this crazy notion that it's just, like, easy. And, like, I can, dude, I can do it in a year. Like, do you know, like, listen, here's a good example of cybersecurity. And I'm not even kidding, Okay. Watch Silicon Valley and just try and listen to everything Gilfoyle says. You know, like <laughs> watch Silicon Valley and just try try and figure out everything Gilfoyle is talking about. You want to fucking learn about like network security and cybersecurity? You know, pretend to be Gilfoyle um, for a day, and it's like it's like it's ridiculous. It's you know, it's not it's not just like something you can. I don't know, man. It's it's not like you can't just go and take a two year certificate and like get yourself a hundred thousand dollar job. Not to mention she changed her mind almost immediately after a jackass man dressed as a fake toad told her so. I mean that's also true. That's also like concerning to say the least. You know that like some green guy on the internet can change your whole life. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like that's that's like one thing in and of itself. <laughs> I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't fucking know, bro. The online advice show. El Porco just subscribed. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub that to already El run Porco. Out? I thought El Porco was already fucking subbed. Uh, thanks a lot, Anonymous, for gifting a tier one friendship package to El Porco. Really great stuff. <laughs> Should have just went to nursing school or some shit. Bitch, if that lady was a nurse, she'd fucking... A patient would be like, give me more morphine, cunt, and she would just do it. You know? You need to have a level of constitution to be, you know, certain kinds of people. Uh, I don't know. I just don't know. More ghost fluid. Bitch, unlock the ghost box. Let me in. You know, they came into my room. I'm already high, and they're like, you need to stop using this thing. And I said, why the fuck did you give it to me then, bitch? 
Because, yeah, I woke up every time I was able to click the button. Yeah. Yeah, I clicked the button every time it fucking let me. Duh. Duh. You can't just give me a fucking box I'm hooked up to that just makes fucking ghosts appear. And, and I'm not going to use it? Are you serious? <sighs> It's fucking fucking weird, dude. It's fucking weird. Now that I think about a lot of it, it's fucking really weird. It's like uncomfortable to think about. <laughs> I I experienced augmented reality, okay, in a in a superior in like a supreme way, um, because I was hooked up to a machine that was giving me cool liquid, um, and every time I pressed the button, dude. I could see a floating, invisible computer screen. Not invisible, but like translucent. And I could interact with it. It's very odd. Did they charge you for each shot you took? I don't doubt it. It's probably in the fucking bill somewhere. It's probably in the bill somewhere. What was that shit called? It had a name. Dilated. I think it was Dilated. I can't remember. It was fucking cool. It was fucking real cool. I wish I had some right now. Hi, welcome to the Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Uh, hey there, can you hear me? Yeah, how can I help you today? What is your uh, online advice question? Uh, okay. Um, if I show a egg up my ass... Hi, welcome to the Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Mm -hmm. obesity is in America. Do you have an online advice question today, sir? Yeah. What is your advice question? Do you have an advice question today? Um, how, uh, how is your uh, stand on obesity? Okay. It's online advice show. We give people free help online. Simply call the phone number 202-935-0688. You can call in and receive free help online, okay? Simple pimple pimple, fellas. Call the phone number, 202-935-0688. You can call in and receive free help online. Obesity is gay. I happen to know that uh, Dwight is obese. Um, you know, it is what it is. Welcome to the club, brother. You know what I'm saying? Um. <laughs> uh. Clap on! Sir PPPP69, turn the lights on with X300. Start farting. If I could fart on command like that, I, I definitely would not be sitting here streaming, okay? I'd be selling farts or something. Um, okay, I'd probably make way more money if I was selling farts to people. Wouldn't just be wasting my day here. <clears throat> Can you burp on command? No. No. <clears throat> I can burp if I have some sodies, though. You know, I'll, I'll hurl some burps around. If I'm sodied up. Dead in the middle of little, 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 did we know that we riddled to middle, man, didn't do diddly. Tohi underscore cheered. X1000. The obesity scales of fusy jaying bullshit. <laughs> Everyone's obese, man. It is what it is. Okay? We're turning into Wally World. And personally, I can't wait. You know, everybody said, oh my god, I hope we don't become like Wally and uh, there's fat people sitting on floating chairs on a space cruise ship. But I saw that and I thought, fuck yeah, dude, look how cool that shit is. Those people get to float around on chairs and and watch TV all day and play video games and they don't have to move. <laughs> I thought, what the fuck, dude? Who's, who's pissed about that? You know, who's who the fuck is pissed about that? <laughs> You're the fattest person I've ever seen. Dude, that, that can't possibly be true. I'm not even that fucking fat. I'm not even that fucking fat. I can get up and walk. 
There's no way I'm the fattest person you've ever fucking seen. Ever? Are you serious? Ever? I seriously doubt that. Where are you fucking from? An impoverished village? I'm not even the fattest person on this website. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Yo, hello. I've got some advice for you, sir. No, uh, we give the advice here. Do you have an online advice oh. question? Oh, yeah. Um, If you don't take the stream down, I'm going to break up. Okay. It's online advice show, fellas. We give people free help online. All you got to do is call the phone number 202-935-0688. You might be the fattest on Twitch. Dude, not even possible. Not even possible. I don't even think that's possible. I'm not the fattest guy on Twitch. It's not possible. I would know by now. I'd have some kind of award or something. Who is? I'm not sure, but I'm sure there's a fat motherfucker lurking around behind one of those VTube costumes. Pretending to be a, pretending to be a hentai, you know. <clears throat> I'm sure. I'm sure there's a fat, fat fucking dude pretending to be a hentai girl online. Uh. Mm. Clap on. Sir P P P P sixty nine. Turned the lights on with X three hundred. I have met many people much larger than you. Right. The only thing that is different about you is that you are flaunting your big fat tits around. Exactly. Exactly. And honestly, that's why fat people suck so much, is that they're not willing to pull their fucking big fat tits out and let everybody see their fucking big fat tits. I don't know why everybody's fucking, you know, don't be scared that you've got big, gigantic fucking tits, bro. Just show your fucking tits. Like, I don't like, why are you fucking selfish? <laughs> selfish. There's nothing, there's nothing worse than being the fat guy in the swimming pool with the shirt on, okay? And I've been there before, okay? I've been there before. I've been the fat guy in the swimming pool with the shirt on. But it's embarrassing, bro. And you know that you're you know that you're embarrassed. Okay, just take the fucking shirt off and be the fat guy in the fucking swimming pool. You know what I mean? But they always want to wear the shirt in the fucking swimming pool, dude. And they and it's like I can tell you're fucking sad that you're fat. <laughs> you know, I see someone I'm like, I can tell he's fucking sad and he's fat. Online worst worst show. combo. Nine oh five Justin just subscribed. Thanks a lot, 905 Justin, for the Prime sub for nine months. Okay. Thanks a lot, Toei, for the $1,000 dollarinis. Toei underscore cheered. X1000. It'll be honest. I swear the shirt, mm -hmm. but when I don't, I feel better. You don't need the shirt. You don't need the shirt. You know, people look at you more when you have the shirt on in the pool. When you take the shirt off, people aren't going to be staring at your big fat tits. There's way more interesting things to look at at the pool, you know? Um, so when, when you have the shirt on, people look and they go, that fucking dude's wearing a shirt in the pool. Um, but when you take it off, it's like, you know, no one's going to be staring at your big fat tits. You know? Well, some people might stare at my big fat tits. I've got pretty big fat tits. Um, but I think, most, I think most of all people would stare if I took my shirt off because I'm pale, you know? You need to go to a tanning bed first, maybe. The paleness is really, it's like shiny and bright. Like, you'd really be able to see me. You know, kind of like a beacon. Like a Minecraft beacon. In an underground temple. <clears throat> it's online advice show. Thanks a lot for the $1,000 Reenies Toey. Really great stuff. If I wasn't so desperately afraid of skin cancer in the sun, then I would, I would tan all the time, I think. I'd go to tanning salons and stuff because... I don't know, I think it's just a better look. But skin cancer. You know, that's lame. You know what I mean? Skin cancer's lame. Skin cancer's not cool. That shit's whack. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Hi. This is, uh... Do you have an online advice uh, question today? Yes. Okay. Do you think... Do you, like... Oh, my God. Oh, my like, God. Oh my god. Um, hey. Oh my god. Like in the middle of the little little little, little, little we know that we riddle two metal men who did and do diddly. Thanks for Toby for the one thousand dollars. The sun okay. can be dangerous. Yeah. Too much is not good. The sun can be dangerous. You guys ever had heat stroke before? God, is that ever a weird sensation, you know? It's like I went outside too long and now I got cooked. And um, I'm dizzy and I'm throwing up and, like, I feel sick for, you know, three days. Like, the sun is, uh, the sun's a demon orb in the sky. And it makes you wonder, you know, what did farmers do, you know, 2,000 years ago? Like, did, were they just fucking getting cooked all day? Or 
covering themselves in, in grease or something? I, I don't know. Sir, do you have a fucking question today? Yes. I, oh my god, I fuck off. Get to the fucking point. Hi, right, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Howdy, sir. How are you doing on this fine evening? Not bad. I'm giving people free help online. How can I help you today? My, my friend, I have a prickly pickle that I am in. And this <laughs> One second, there's a message here. Toey underscore cheers. That's not Toey for the $1,000. Dollarinis. Yes, questions only, please. Do you... Are you okay. going to shut the fuck up? I can try. I said there's a fucking... You know what? You've been skipped. Thanks for the one thousand dollarinis, Toby. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It keeps going. It keeps going. It keeps going. Eight. Thanks for the eight thousand dollarinis. Okay. Woo hoo! Woo Yeah. All right. Really great stuff. We give people free help online. Questions. How high can you count? I've been known to go as high as um, 265. Um, I can get all the way up there. I can get all the way up there. Before I get confused. Yeah. Sometimes I'll just sit and count. If I'm really bored. <clears throat> Do you count on your fingers, fingers and toes? Mm-hmm. Fingers and toes. Mm-hmm. Would you be mad if TikTok got banned? No. I, dude, who gives a fuck? That honestly, it should. It should get banned. It should. You know, it should get banned. Um, unfortunately, that's not even what the language of the bill says. Okay, and even if it does get passed, it's going to be forcibly sold probably to Meta. Okay, and then Meta will just fold it into Instagram Reels. Um, I don't see any other scenario happening. I don't think any other company is going to have enough money to step in and buy it. So, even if it does get passed, it's just going to get folded into fucking Instagram Reels, and nothing else. Online is going to, advice nothing show. Else is going to, it's Jack going underscore to overson one just subscribed. Clock in balls. That's all. Another month with the toad. Thanks a lot, Jack Offerson, for the Tier 1 Friendship Package for five months. All right. Really great stuff. Cock and balls. It will never go away. I mean, it, it might. It might go away, but it wouldn't really go away. It would just be... It would just probably be a... It would just be a version of Instagram. Or or it would just be folded into Instagram Reels. Like, it, nothing would change, I don't think. Just new name. No, I don't even think it would be a new name. I think it'd be, like, forcibly sold to Meta, and then they would just take it over. If anything, they would just take the user data and shit and say, hey, everybody's got, you know, everybody who was on TikTok is now on Instagram Reels or whatever. You know, nothing's really going to change. <clears throat> it goes to an auction. No, I think the uh, the language of the bill says that it has to be sold to an American Tony company. Cheered. X1000. Um, the talk is way more lame than it was a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's true too. That that is true. Like even a year, even a year or two years ago, it was, it, it seemed a bit more interesting. Now it's just like, um, it's like weird. It's like AI shit. Like everything I see on there is like AI generated. Um, it's very odd. Um, but it, so, from what I understand, is if it does pass the this bill, it would be forced forcibly sold to the highest bidding um, U.S. company or whatever. Uh, if they wanted to like continue to exist either that or i guess they would just have to not exist anymore um i don't know i don't know if it's an option to say they can't i guess you can't really force a company to be sold if they don't want to be sold they could just leave and in that scenario they would just leave um and then tiktok wouldn't exist anymore either way who gives a fuck you know what i mean fuck tiktok Honestly, it's fucking bullshit. <clears throat> uh, uh, uh. 
Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Thanks to Joey for the one thousand dollarines. Okay. Joey underscore cheered. X one thousand. I've got a few talks I don't want to lose. The videos themselves. I just save the videos these days. If I find an interesting talk, I don't even send a link. I just uh, save the video and then send it to somebody. Um, it's just easier that way. Thanks for the two thousand dollarines. Okay. Really great stuff. Sir, do you have an online advice question today? Yeah, I got something for you. Um, I hate my upstairs neighbor because they never stop stomping. Okay. And uh, I bought a sound bar and I placed it up on the ceiling to blast music, but they continue to stomp. What would you do in my situation? Hmm. Hmm. You're going to have to get more interesting with the terrorism. You're going to have to do something fucking crazy. Like... And this is fucking crazy, you know. It's really fucking crazy. But you could drill a giant hole in the wall and start reaching up, you know, drill a hole up into the top of their wall and just start, like, feeding rats into the wall with cheese and stuff. Um, the bad part there is getting caught. Because if you seal the rats into the wall, the next thing you know, there's a whole bunch of rats dying in the wall and it stinks. Um, I have some breaking news. Oh, hold on, there's breaking news. Please hold. I have just learned that the wife of Larry David on Curb is the real life, real wife of Robert F. Kennedy. Yes, that is... Okay, I don't know if that was... Okay, that, okay, yeah. Yeah, Cheryl, yeah, okay. Wasn't really breaking news. Um, <clears throat> or you could uh, you could do something even more sinister, like... I mean, if you really want to get weird with it, you know, drill a hole in the wall, feed a hose up there, and just keep on feeding it up until it reaches, like, up at, at their wall, you know? Um, if the apartment's mirrored, you know, you could know your bedroom wall, you drill a hole in the bedroom wall, feed a hose up there, a rubber garden hose with the ends cut off, so it's just a tube, and then you could, like, whisper shit into their bedroom at night, you know, you could whisper things into the tube, and it would, it would, they would go, like, schizophrenic and go crazy, um, you know, there's all kinds of things that you could do, all kinds of crazy pranks that you could pull on these people that drive them insane, but it's, it's gonna take a lot of your time and a lot of your effort. Okay. Well, I do actually like the hose idea. Maybe I'll give that one a whirl. Mm -hmm. It's something different and new. Yeah. Or for the low price of, um, I don't know, let's just call it a thousand U.S. dollars, I could get them sent to federal prison for you. I, I mean, that, that's a good option. Okay. Cash up front and then uh, <laughs> contact me on me Telegram. Thanks a lot for calling, sir. Cash up front and then contact me on Telegram. <clears throat> it's Online Advice Show. We give people free help online. All you gotta do is call the phone number 202, only 1,000? Yeah, sure. You know? Why not? How would you do it? I can't tell you guys my secrets. I can't tell you that for free. Hmm. <clears throat> Teach me how to drop ship. Bro, drop shipping is over. I You know, drop shipping is not even it's not even cool anymore, man. Drop shipping's not even real anymore. It's so it's so lame, dude. It's so lame. You don't even make money, dude. Sir PP Poo Poo 69 turned the lights on with X300. I just squeezed out a toad, wiped with a June, and flushed with a Blandon. That doesn't even make any sense. If anything, Blandon would be the fucking toilet paper. That dude's weird and, and, and he's lame. You know what I mean? He's not even interesting. How come toilet paper doesn't come in interesting flavors? You know, like, how come toilet paper doesn't come in, like, Mentholated eucalyptus for your asshole. Like, it makes your asshole clean and, like, fresh feeling. You know? 
It does? No, no, it doesn't. No. There's no there's no toilet paper that comes like flavored. Dude wipes mint. Dude, you can't flush You can't flush those, dude. You're gonna ruin your fucking pipes. You cannot flush those. You shouldn't use wet wipes, man. You can't fucking flush them. Ridiculous. There's no Listen, there's no toilet paper you can buy off the shelf like a, like a set of rolls that is, like, flavored for your asshole. Which one? I've never seen flavored toilet paper. I've never seen it. Just use fruit roll-ups. Dude, that is horrific. That is horrific. I don't want to think about... I don't want to think about wiping my ass with a fruit roll-up. Oh, it is. Hi, ah, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? The Holocaust never happened. Okay, thanks a lot for calling. Hi, ah, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Howdy, I got three friends that play uh, NHL every single night. They uh, all is this think about they're you? the best. And they is this about you, possible. or is this about your friends? I'm, 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 I'm certain they're all gay, and I don't know how to tell them. Okay, thank you for calling, sir. This is about his friends. Guys, at Online Advice Show, we do calls for the individual, okay? For the individual seeking advice. Not for the friends, not for your friends being gay, not for your friends being homosexual, not for your friends having sex with your aunt's, uncle's, brother's cousin, um, not because your friend has sex with a dog or your friend has sex with a frog. We don't do that here, guys, okay? And listen, the truth is, the truth is, if you were worried about your friend being gay... That makes you way gayer than anybody else because you're actively thinking about the dudes that your friend fucks. And that means that you're imagining your friend fucking a dude. So that makes you way more fucking gay than your friend who fucks dudes. Because if you're worried about your gay friend fucking dudes, that means you're constantly thinking about him having sex with men. And that's way gayer. It's way gayer. If I had to choose between imagining two dudes fucking and actually fucking a dude, I would pick actually fucking the dude. It's way less gay. It's way less gay. Can you imagine anything gayer than fantasizing about two dudes having sex? That's the gayest shit on planet Earth. That's way gayer than actually fucking a dude. Let's not tell you for the one thousand dollarini. Tony underscore cheered. X one thousand. Just play NHL and join the gay gang 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 gang. Yeah, you know, play NHL, be gay. Play Madden, be gay. Play FIFA, become European and retarded. It, these are the constants of life. These are the things that we understand. Um, game is game. I don't think you can say game is game to that. Okay, what's what's gayer, guys? Imagining two dudes fucking or fucking a dude? Press one for imagination, press two for fucking. Which one's gayer? Number one's way gayer, right? Imagining two dudes fucking is way gayer. It's way gayer than fucking a dude. It's way, it's way more gay. Sitting around and, and picturing dudes fucking? That's gay. What about gay for pay? That's work at that point. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's not gay to have a job. Okay? It's never gay to have a job. Yeah. What about watching two dudes fuck? That's that's kind of in the middle. It's kind of in the middle somewhere. Watching watching gay porn is pretty gay, but um Yeah, I don't know. It's it's kind of in the middle. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Yo, hello. Hello, do you have an online advice question today? <laughs> Anything else? Yo, you're fat and you're got. Okay. He sounds like one of those fireworks 
um, you know, Fourth of July, the screechers or whatever. <laughs> Pop. What was the bottle rocket? Yeesh, 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 yeesh. He sounded like a little bitch. Yeah, he might be. He might be a little bitch. He might be a little bitch. What about watching porn that consists of chicks with dicks? The Futinari. Now, do they have pussies too, or is it two chicks with dicks fucking each other in the asshole? Do they have a pussy where the balls are supposed to be? Have you seen the Fallout series, Todd? No, I'm boycotting it because Michael Rapaport is in it. All right, that's why I'm boycotting the Fallout show. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Hey, Hello, do you have an online advice question today? And wash. You smell like shit, you fat bitch. I do not smell. I do not smell. smell like shit. I do not. There's no way you can smell. European. European. Oh, you're fat. European. Oh, you're fat. European. I can tell you're European. That's why you sound so stupid. European. Which part of Eastern Europe are you from? Which impoverished country? European. What's wrong with these kids? It was an Eastern European. He was an Eastern European. They're always like that. They're always like that. <clears throat> that guy's pissed about your FIFA comment. Yeah, exactly, right? You know, he's he's mad because, you know, playing FIFA turns into a dipshit Eastern European. It is what it is. You become retarded, basically. Uh, it breaks your brain. <laughs> it's always FIFA with them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's sad, bro. It's sad. In most of those countries, they make more money playing FIFA than they do at work, you know? It's kind of like the Venezuelans on RuneScape. You know, they make more money killing green dragons and mining coal. <laughs> uh, it's online advice show. I love RuneScape. Gross. 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 Hi, welcome to online advice show. How can I help you today, sir? Hey, Professor Toad. I, uh... I need help with this wedding gift. I asked you a couple days ago. The right. Toady underscore cheered. X one thousand. Decided that we're going to do these gifts separately. He's asked for a sword, so I need to come up with a five hundred dollars sword that's not mall ninja shit. It also has to be good for a meek man. What does that even mean? They're doing gifts separately. What does that even mean? So the best man, the uh, you know, the best. The best bitch are going to do gifts separately for the bride and the groom. Now tell this guy to fuck himself. He sounds. No, tell this guy to go fuck himself. When you're getting a know. when it's... you're getting a gift, okay. Listen, for starters, five hundred bucks is an absurd amount to give someone for their wedding anyway. You know, that's like, and especially when you're in, especially when you're in the party, they should be paying for you to do stuff because you have to do a bunch of bullshit and buy a fucking suit and do all this shit, and you're going to tell me this guy wants to pick a sword? No, tell this guy to go fuck himself. I'd give him nothing. I'd give him nothing at this point. I would I would refuse. <laughs> In fact, I'd give him a... I would get a fucking Amazon box, an empty one, and I'd fill it with, like, something heavy and wrap it up, and then, like a brick Right, or right, right. But but I don't need a job at McDonald's. That's not what I'm calling for advice for. 500 is fine. No, We're it's ridiculous now. Now it's ridiculous. More than a dollar is ridiculous now. It's absurd. The, More they're than gonna, a dollar? This is because it's absurd. You don't you don't give in to behavior like this at any point in time. You never give in to behavior like this. This guy's gonna say no. We're doing gifts for your wedding. Yeah, for the yeah the wedding registry. That's just like stuff. But this you're telling me this guy specifically said you have to give him a, a sword. No, 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 no. They're paying for things for the wedding. Everyone's already chipping in, and I figured five hundred is like a good you know kind of in between price Wait, for it. Ooh. And he was just like, I would like a sword. And I was like, all right, it sounds like a good idea. He wants a sword. Okay. At that he at that rate, I, I write them off entirely, and I say, I say, go fuck yourself, pussy bitch, loser, asshole. You don't ask, you don't say to your friend, hey, I want you to get me a sword. That's, like, ridiculous. That's ridiculous. iPads, this is offensive. This is offensive, to say the least. iPads are a good purchase. Each... Each one of them having an iPad. Well, he knows what he's doing with a computer. Giving him an iPad is like, you know. I, so do I. Like, you calling me a retard or something because I like my iPad? 
Well, I mean, he's got more than enough that he doesn't need. Does an he have iPad. an iPad? He Does he have an iPad? People. Does he have an iPad in his house? No, no. Then I he guess he doesn't have enough. Then I guess he doesn't have enough. No, it just doesn't use Apple. It's software. the ultimate entertainment matrix. But Apple? The iPad. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. If, are, if you aren't, you know, obsessive and you know, weird ridiculous. and autistic and staying up till midnight to program things, how you ridiculous. love it, you know? The people are fucking ridiculous. They are. You're, they are. you're, a, I agree, no, you're a gross individual, okay? And I, I wish oh, you so a pox. You I cast a sword? hex. I cast a hex upon you, and I cast a hex upon their matrimony. One of them will uh, perish within the next six months. Of protection on me. Yeah, you can't afford a circle of protection. Tier three subs only. I cast a hex upon them. I cast a hex upon their marriage. I cast a hex upon those people. Those people did not deserve to be married. Those people deserve suffering, and they deserve they deserve to suffer, and they deserve plague. They, those two are finished. Those two are completely finished. What what a, what a, what a horrible individual to say they want a sword instead of an iPad. What a horrible individual to say to your friend, "Oh, yeah, don't get me and my wife iPads. Just get me a five hundred dollar sword." Terrible! What a terrible person! What a terrible person! Jackass! Just like Fruit Ninja on the iPad, you can do whatever you want on the iPad. You can play a game and watch a TV show on the iPad at the same time. Where else can you do that? Hmm? Where else can you do that? Picture in picture. Hmm. On my computer, not on the same screen. Yes, you can, dude. No, you can't. No, you can't. What are you going to do? Pop out a window, install Windows Power Tools, and then lock the fucking popped out window on the screen? Guess what? With the iPad, it's intuitive. It happens instantly. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How? Well, up. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? I have like a genuine question. Great, go ahead. How do I raise like my self confidence? Okay. Did you grow up without a father? Sorry, what did you say? Did you grow up without a father? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's the issue. That's the issue. Normally, well, wait, you learn those things. Wait. What? The online advice show. It's not like Anonymous Vodka just password. subscribed. I used yeah, to but like whatever. You life. still he wasn't in your life. But I managed to get the help, and I've quit thinking. Uh, yes, pretty much. Yeah. Normally, you learn those things by watching your dad be a successful man, and just like go out and do stuff, and like, you know, take care of business, and like be who he is, right? You just learn it by like watching. Right, normally, but when you grow up with a single mother, you know you don't get those things because women always talk about feelings, and they're they're always trying to lay everything out on the table, and they're not introspective. You know, they're outrospective. They compare everything to other situations that are going on. They don't compare things to things that are going on within. Right, mm -hmm. women go out and they get into a gaggle. That's what I like to call it—a gaggle of women. And they all talk about their problems, and they all share their issues, and they all lay all the problems out on the table, right? When they're gathered. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Right. But men, when they go and gather, you know, sit in silence, or they say racist things, or they say homophobic stuff, um, they don't sit around and talk about their problems, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I still do that. that. That shit's pretty fun. Yeah, that but... shit's the fun part of being a guy, is the racism and the homophobia and... And whatever else. Oh, yeah. um, <clears throat> but the um, the women, you know, they get together and they all talk about their problems. Women don't sit around at home thinking about how they can improve themselves and be better and, you know, do better stuff. They always talk to their friends about it. Or their yeah. husband or their boyfriend or whatever, right? <clears throat> Men usually look inward, right? And then they compare themselves to hopefully the most successful man in their life. Their dad. Yeah. But you didn't have one of those. Uh, so you don't have anyone to compare uh, yourself to. So you don't know what you're supposed to be doing. So you're self-conscious. And you're worried. And you don't know what to do. And you're waiting for someone to tell you what to do, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, that person's never going to show up. They don't exist. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like right now I'm doing decent, like money wise. I feel like I'm doing pretty well. I'm kind of. I mean, then again, there's no one there for like to say they're proud of me. So it's like hard to like. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but like it's hard to not. I'm like I'm, I'm having problems understanding like how good I'm doing because no one's telling me. Yeah, that's the woman problem. That's the woman problem right there. That's raised. That's being raised by a single mother. That's the problem right there. That's oh, wait, the problem. I have, I have a really good question, or yeah. I feel like that's a good question for me. How do you? How did you get the confidence to like stream yourself like in this situation that you're in right now? Because I want your confidence. You just decide. It's as simple as that. Yeah. It is. It is that. It is that easy. You just choose to you just choose to do it visualize the action and then actualize the vision right um, don't do the woman yeah. thing the woman thing is where you wait for someone else to give you the approval right it's where you wait for permission to do something don't do the woman thing it's ruined me yeah you can just do I'm, whatever I'm you want you can just do whatever you just want thinking about it you can do whatever you want doesn't matter doesn't matter how do i how do i get past this point i wish it was just like as simple as like not thinking about it but i can't do that you can though you can through exposure you just have to start it just gets easier as you do it what what would you recommend like me starting to learn how to do that do you have a job uh yeah what do you do um i work uh, i don't know where you're from but in texas there's this like huge gas station it's called bucky's Ooh, right? Bucy's. It, it may sound it may <laughs> I sound love Bucy's. Bad, but yeah but the Bucy's starting is pay great. is like 20 bucks an hour no, that's great they pay people very well at Bucy's. and um do you work overnight or uh no i'm still in school i'm still in high school actually what, what do you do at the Bucy's? uh i'm just a stalker just a stalker. What you need to do is you need to ask the manager to put you on the brisket table. Oh. <laughs> Does that sound terrifying to be the guy yelling, Fresh brisket on the table! Oh my God. Does that sound embarrassing? Yeah, it does. yeah, I don't know if I can do that. You need to do that. That's what you need to do in order to fix it. You need to be the guy who fucking goes out and yells, Fresh brisket on the table! You need to be that guy. Because yeah. that guy's not scared. Uh, you think he walks out of the back room with the fresh brisket going, oh my god, I don't I don't think I can announce to the whole store that there's fresh brisket on the table. But he still goes out there and right. he does it. He announces every fucking hour there's fresh brisket on the fucking table. You know, you don't want to be a stalker because a stalker... It's it's too it's too reclusive. You're you're hanging out in the shelves. You're putting stuff up. You know, trying to avoid customers. You need to put yourself into a position where you're uncomfortable and you're forced to talk to people and make small talk and realize that all these people are just humans and they're going to forget me the second they walk out of the door. Hell, they're gonna forget yeah. you the second they fucking turn around. You know what I mean? I've been to no, fucking Busey's. Yeah, I've been I've been to Busey's before, bro. I've gotten the brisket, the fresh brisket on the table. Do I remember how any of those fucking people looked? No. I don't remember how any of those fucking people who screamed fresh brisket on the fucking table looked. I don't remember them. I don't think about them. I've never thought about it the way that you used to put it. That All I right. didn't have a father figure, so that's the reason why. Yeah. That's why you think like a woman. I You're thinking like, like a woman, which is unfortunate. You know. It is, but I mean, then again, could be worse. It could, could be, be worse. You could have nobody. You could have an shit. orphan and be a drug addict. Orphans are weird too. They, exactly. They do weird shit. Orphans. Exactly. They, they don't know nothing. They're like or it feral. Could be like fucking poor. You know what I mean? Yeah, poor people do fucking I probably, suck. I probably wouldn't be able to survive if I was poor. Yeah. Like, what's the point of living? Yeah, it's not cool being poor. Do yourself a favor. Go to the manager. Ask them to put you on the fucking brisket table, and just uh, see how it goes, bro. Okay. Uh, do some shit that's uncomfortable. And then you'll realize no one actually gives a fuck. Okay? Thanks all for calling, sir. You've been cured. Thank really great Professor stuff. Thank you, Professor Toad. Woohoo! It's online advice show, fuckos. We give people free help online. Dude makes 20 an hour and calls people poor. He's on uh, he's on a lateral movement track at Busey's. Um, the Busey's people get paid pretty well, I think. Um, they didn't 
in the middle of little, 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 Look at this. Stalker, 18 bucks an hour. That's probably old. It's probably 20 now. Restroom crew, 20. Food services, 21. Team lead, 20 to 23. Department manager, 25 to 33. I mean, department manager, that's not even that hard to get. 33 bucks an hour? That's fucking sick. Um, assistant food service manager, 33 to 42. Like, it's, it's fucking full time, 35 to 50 hours, no experience. Assistant general manager, 100K to 150K. Car wash manager, 125K plus. Food service manager, 125K to 175K. And then general manager makes 150 to 225,000 a year, bro. It's fucking pretty good. It's fucking pretty good. At, at fucking Busey's, dude. And also you get $2 extra an hour if you do overnight. You know what I mean? Imagine being the assistant food service manager overnight, making forty-four dollars an hour to 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 food manage the fucking brisket room. Like, come on, dude! Fucking forty-five dollars an hour to be the assistant food manager—that's like that's like a cake position. You know what do you have to do? Schedule people and fucking observe like six fucking teenagers all day. Come on, bro! Forty-five fucking bucks an hour. Plus, they give you paid vacation at Busey's. It's dope. Not even that bad. <clears throat> it's online advice show. We give people free help online. All you gotta do is call the phone number 202-935-0688. You can call in and receive free help online. How much brisket do I get to eat? I would assume fuck tons. And also, Busey's has awesome beef jerky, too. They've got a whole beef jerky counter with various flavors and different animals. Beef, turkey, others, I think. <clears throat> Busey's is awesome. Busey's is the place to be. It's such a fucking cool store. It's so much fun. You know, you go in there and it's like... It's like the world's biggest fucking gas station. Yeah, Busey's. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot, Toei, for the 1,000! Hello? 1,000 dollarinis! Okay! Woohoo! Toei underscore cheered. X1000. I'm sure that place has dope employee benefits. Yeah, I think it says on the board, bro. I think it says on the fucking board what the benefits are. What does it say? 401k, 100% match up to 6%. Okay? What gas station is giving you a 401k match? Three weeks of paid time off. Use it, cash it, roll it. Healthcare, part-time available, $2 an hour overnight. Dude, come on. Are you kidding me? Apply at Buseys.com. Apply at Buseys.com. Buseys is the fucking place to be, dude. And you're paid weekly as well. It's not even that bad. Buseys is fucking awesome. <clears throat> Love going to Busey's. Love going to Busey's. Hi, welcome to Online Advice Show. How can I help you today, sir? Hey, Toad, I need a second date idea fast. A second date idea? Yeah, yeah, where do I take this girl on a second date? I need aquarium. A fast, dude. I need aquarium. Aquarium. Okay, thank you. Uh, all right. Okay. It's online advice show. <laughs> or at least it was. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'm finished. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. 
That means it's time to go watch Iron Chef. Okay, reminder, fellas, reminder. I won't be here tomorrow night, okay? Got a prior engagement. It is what it is. I won't be here tomorrow night. But Saturday night, Saturday night, we're having a malt liquor party, okay, guys? It's malt liquor party. I want everybody to get malt liquor, okay? Go out and get a 40 or two or three 40s or something. And we're going to be drinking malt liquor on Saturday night. All right? I refuse. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck, go fuck yourself. Above me, look my 